So you've got the Delta Strand, Ludwig. Uh, We're working through it. Yeah, tell us how that happened. Well, uh, it started with a government agent who reached out to me, and then he said, just pass it to as many influencer friends as possible. So uh, glad to be here, Chuckle Sandwich. Yes, hello. Welcome back to Chuckle Sandwich, everybody. We've got Ludwig on. He doesn't what a seem joy. Be, he doesn't seem to be doing too well. He I'm is, doing good. No, I mean, I, we can all hear you. Well, we can all hear you. does it sound bad? Yes. <laughs> you does sound it, bad. Does it sound bad? It. It's it. Borf, does it sound bad? He sounds hey. good, Borf said. We yeah. hire Borf to lie. That's what he does here. All he does is I, lie. I, had a, I, I went to the 100 Thieves event, and I, I, I caught something. Yes. And I was a little under the weather. Mm-hmm. But it's about 10 days ago. It was 10 days ago. You, okay. And you're still coughing? Occasionally, but occasionally a little no, but it's, almost right after the sort of incubation period. It's right. Of the, <laughs> this can't be real. There's no way that that's, it's mostly it's it mostly like once every other day. I, man, he's a wonderful no, actor. You, well, you guys know each other really it's well. It's a light call. Know each other better. Hey, but happy to be here. Seriously, gentlemen, if we could just go. Wow. Okay. Yep. Wow, that's uh, thumbs up for everyone. Right. All right. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, so Ludwig, yeah, what we typically ask uh, to guests when they come on uh-huh. uh, is we've got a little bit of a sandwich here, as you know. This is the chocolate uh, sandwich. Don't breathe on it too much. Uh, and we're all sort of parts, different parts of the sandwich. So for instance, Ted is the butt loaf. Uh-huh. Hello. Uh, I'm the meat. Schlatt. Mayo. Mayo. Right. If you had to pick, if you had to be a part of the sandwich, which you are. Okay, well, you guys are getting slowly no, further away from no, me, No, we like. just want to know. We yeah. just want to know. If I project, if I had to be a part of the sandwich with all of you guys tightly close together, well, that's I you. think Maybe not I would tightly. be the melty cheese because no, there's not one. No, well, that would get every, no, that kind of gets no, everywhere. No, that's that gets we, everything. I would get on everything. Maybe we keep it cold. That's the thing about me. I like getting. I like. I like getting. Wow. It could be the here. side of fries, maybe. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and well, stay away. in a different no, bag, no, no, sort of. No, no. You can maybe a second, fries, maybe a second then order. Then we're putting this on the that sandwich. We no, no, right? potentially be a California burrito. Maybe a, maybe a spear hey, pickle that we gingerly pick up and and uh, toss if I'm away. I'm spearing all these. Hey, maybe <laughs> maybe you could be the receipt. Well, maybe you could be maybe we a could side ask or a pole saw that they put in a little plastic tin that you forget about and stays in the car for a couple of days and wilts. You've hurt me, gentlemen. <laughs> You've hurt me today. Do you do this thing, Ludwig, where if you have multiple things on your plate, you will eat one at a time? <laughs> so that that I I know what you're getting at, right? Okay, now. uh, like like if I have like a bento box or like if I have. Like, burger and fries. Something not do do already segmented. Time. Do you eat the burger first and then the fries later? Because or, that's what I do. Or do you I do mix like and match. half main food, half. Like oh, I'll start so with the fries and then I'll eat oh. the burger and then I'll like, I like to pick at the fries at the end. Oh. So if I had zero fries, I'd be disappointed. But as soon as you start the burger, you commit to finish the burger. I would commit to finish a burger. Okay. I think we had some moment earlier this week when you were eating something, and I really wanted you to try a piece of the other meal, and you were yeah. like, no. "You were like, no, <laughs> no, I don't, no, I need I to finish this yeah. before I, I can move on." Yeah, you got is very particular. Oh, he's absolutely particular. He's complaining yeah. about the Airbnb that we got. Wow, they had a mess up with the hotels somehow. I'm sorry, you got us a hotel at a nightclub. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't you personally got us a book hotel. the hotel. Pretty scary. Fucking pretty scary we I didn't rolled up very lively. The hotel. We rolled up there and there was a line out the fucking door. So and we called them and then they're like, "Oh no, the hotel closed at six It was a self checking hotel. So am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to walk they, in the nightclub and go up the stairs and listen to? And they didn't read the email. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm actually pretty respectful. I'm checking the hotel. Like I like hearing you talk about it. Sounds lit. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that you would love a, a shady place like that, you Look, fucking bastard. I, I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Not saying one way or the other there. Wow. Uh, no, I know Schlott's particular because of his food preferences, too. It's Because I can't tell if he likes something for a while. Have you guys gained that talent? So, Schlatt's a very interesting character because, like, he even sleeps looking like he's angry. Yeah. Like, I, he, was, he was sleeping on the couch upstairs in the game Grump Office, and... We were trying to like get his attention because we're. This is actually the to... context of when the hotel was booked. Actually, as yeah, well, it was. And it I was, was too context. scared to wake him up. Well, yeah, because he when he sleeps <laughs> when he sleeps he's like this. He's like, yeah, like cute. And then like position, you talk to but him, but so angry. Yeah, and you talk to him, then he's like, <sighs> <laughs> it's terrifying. It's like trying to wake up a sleeping giant. It's waking up sandy cheeks. 
when she's That's hibernating. Exactly. When she's hibernating. She's yeah. Big sandy cheeks. Bulky too. Yeah. And just she's so built. Thick and you are thick. Jacked. Big size. Great picks. Jacked. Great form. Mm. Yeah. I, God, I, but I wouldn't wish to be crushed between the thick thighs of sandy cheeks post oh my God. hibernation. Tell me more wake about that shit. I'd mm-hmm. get her pissed the fuck off. You know, I'd, I think... I'd, I'd skin her. I'd. F- <laughs> Whoa. Is this still between you two? Like, is she enjoying this? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like she got out That's of the so I'd sure. flay that fucking rabbit and, and stuff her. I bet. And I and I'd I'd let her get real pissed, and then I would just stick my head between those thighs and let her crush you. You know how in me. um in Smash, mm. the, you know that character Kazuya. Yeah. How he does this thing where he turns into a demon every couple seconds. Mm-hmm. I think in the new Nickelodeon game that's coming out mm-hmm. with the Nickelodeon characters, they should oh, do Sandy Cheeks. Sandy's got to get mad. She gets oh, like, like big and angry. I forgot yeah. she got mad. I just remembered she was a squirrel. And oh, she, she got, got angry. angry. Yeah. Yeah. Ludwig. She got woken up. Oh, there was that episode. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're a pretty big Smash guy, though. How do you feel about the new Nickelodeon situation coming out are you gonna get into that this game i don't know if you gentlemen know this this game is gonna be amazing he's talking about your slap music. is it yeah because this game is made by the developers of a game called slap city which was uh, i think i saw connor tweeting about this yeah, yeah. slap city was like a like a it, look uh, isn't that a wall ball game no you throw balls <laughs> you like slap it back side, and, yeah. yeah you could probably do that well. you could call it that'd be a, an apt name It'd be more like slap wall or yeah. slap ball no, Slap City was like a, it was like a 2D uh, platform fighter, and it was like the only good one, uh, gameplay wise. Because mm. a bunch of companies have made them and failed. They, they succeeded though. What a, what about Rivals of Ether? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that no, no. R- it's Rivals. good. It's good. It's Rivals good. Great. Rivals is he great. just scoffed. No, at you. no. You just Rivals got scoffed at. Rivals is great. Act- uh, unironically, Rivals is great. Slap City was just a much smaller dev team, quicker. You know, Rivals is great. And the and the guy follows me, and he might hear this. And it I sounds like, like you I like the guy. What you're saying. No, I like I like rivals. Is what I've always <laughs> said. I've said this in in several podcasts before. You can track it. It's trackable. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's breadcrumbs. There's proof. I'll say Icon sucked. Do you know? Do you hear about that game? No. They got like like Vaguely? ten mil or something to make a oh. video game. Something insane. Spent it all, made the video game, went down within a month and a half. Damn, just a damn. terrible. Well, I do remember it was targeted at the melee crowd, I believe. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. these are all these are all brawl esque kind of game. Yeah, wow. yeah. I didn't all, know that there was interesting that many. word choice. Brawl. Well, well the idea is well, they're that calling all these like brawl. Like. It, it's more like melee esque, brawl esque, PM esque. All those. It's all owned by Nintendo, and Nintendo sucks. Mm-hmm. So everyone wants to make one that's like as good. Mm-hmm. That it's coming. Oh jeez, get back here, Slime. <laughs> no, get no, back. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, man. Jesus Christ. So anyway, the they make these ends. games. How and, can you in good faith this. even have come here? And they, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a light cough. It's a light cough. I know, but it's terrifying the way you're doing. <laughs> we were t- we were talking <laughs> yesterday about the guy it. that hides the bite and how Schlatt was gonna make a make a nudist colony there yeah. to prevent that from happening. Yeah. Wait, what? Do you want to change topics real yeah, quick? Yeah, I would love to talk about this. We were this. talking about the zombie apocalypse. Wow. And we were thinking like, oh, well, what if we had to get like a TSA machine? But that's just like bullshit because what is that going to do? Yeah, well, so, that do? Okay. It, it feels so, like you're hiding okay. the fight is what I'm okay. saying. It feels like you're what hiding the fight right now. You're saying you'd use a TSA machine to detect if they had zombie stuff. But also, they, no, okay, so, but let, also let me, if they had a weapon. We need to, we need to break it down and to also its core elements here of like where that came from. It because it doesn't functionally Because do that, I though. said, because basically... The whole argument at the beginning was like, oh, I hear about that there's zombies in town. I don't go to town. And then I said, well, then it brings up the whole problem with it's like, oh, somebody got bit at your loved one. Then there starts mm-hmm. to be some issues there. So then Schlatt posited that he wanted to start a nudist colony of zombie survivalist people. Mm-hmm. And then I said, do we really need to do the nudist colony? What if we yes. just go and steal a TSA thing from some broken down airport? That's bullshit. And then Ted was like, oh yeah, and get four people on fucking little hamster wheels generating well, the I think power. You only, I think you only really need shit. one person on a hamster well, wheel. Well, how do you know? Go. How do you know? What are you, Einstein? Yeah, I don't know the hamster wheel to energy ratio. Yeah, it's a tough ratio to get Gone. Also, do you really want them to have to take their shoes off? They have to stand in the yellow That's thing true. for like three seconds. That's true. Arms by yeah. the head. Not yeah. many, bi- not yeah, many gotta go baths like that. happening. You have to hire a person to just, all their job is, is I screaming. think a nudist colony is a great idea. Of course you do. I Well, I'm going to say nice. this. I will say it, it. it is bad to be sick even now because the first thing people go is, uh-oh. Can't look go at, to the airport. Look at Delta Boy walking in exactly. the room. Little Delta Boy. Exactly. With the, mm. just a mild cough. Just a, Yeah, I, 
Uh oh. A mild cough is all I have. I sucked in a small piece of lint yesterday at the Game Grumps office, and I yeah. was suffering all day. I was very, very scared. I felt like I was hiding the bite. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like walking around. And so the problem with your nudist colony would be people like my roommate Aiden, who has shingles. Ooh. Which looks bad. Yeah. If yeah. you if were in a zombie apocalypse and you saw a guy who had shingles, you would you would be uh, probably sort of not probably. Be part of my colony. I'd turn him away. Yeah. At the gate. But what if he got it while, because shingles, you can get it from just sleep deprivation. Well, that's his problem. You cut them? Yeah. Wow. Unless he was like, like, here's the thing. Are there shingles tests? Can you get tested for shingles? Not in am a zombie I, apocalypse. Am I going to positively be able to say this guy has shingles? He's not just bitten? Well, not, no. Obviously, in a zombie apocalypse, I don't think you can go through those steps. I don't know. I feel, feel like, I mean, if everyone has I feel shingles, like a zombie bite. In most of the popular media where they show zombie bites, it's, like, pretty rough. I mean, like, it doesn't heal necessarily. It, like, starts to spread out. You're starting to see shit yeah. going in the veins. But I think at some early stages, there's you're not exactly sure what it looks like. Maybe it takes different forms. You would be, you'd be nervous. Yeah. You'd no, nervous. I would be nervous. I'm just saying this nude colony now sounds like just a way... To monitor I mean, Aiden everyone. already makes me no. nervous, and I didn't even know you had chingles. Is that not it? It just not, sounds like a way to monitor everyone. I don't want to look at naked people. And take <laughs> ac- so it's just it's just to monitor them and take action if they have any... Yeah, it's for purely, safety. Purely logistical. It's for purely safety. Purely logistical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, I mean, people can wear clothes in the community, but at the gate, there's going to be checks. I'm going to be... And I'm going to be doing them. Yeah. You're gonna be checking. You're gonna not be gonna doing like it. Why are you gonna be doing it? Why'd you, why did you clarify <laughs> that? Because he's the only one who would do the job. Someone I'm the only the one. I'm the only one who'd want to do that. You should hear and this every guy. time he goes. I really don't want to do this. I really hate this. <laughs> <laughs> you should hear the way that he talked. Like so, I, one of the things I was saying was that one You're of the best places to hold out in a zombie apocalypse is to find one of those old '50s prisons. Have you ever seen a prison with like the big concrete walls with the watchtowers? Are you talking about season four of Walking Dead? Yeah, yes. I haven't seen season four of Walking you, Dead. This is what they did in season four of Walking Dead. Oh, how, did really? all, how did it all go wrong again? Because it all went wrong. The didn't prison, it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, th- it's it's almost every single time that's like we found this great place, we're gonna be safe, and then human on human action causes because the people are the real. Not naked. The people are the real. Yeah. Or or and like they're not naked. A lot of the time it'll be like, hey, I'm new, and then they'll be like, I can't trust this motherfucker. Danger's gonna come, and exactly. then danger comes exactly. from. I'm there. sure that the I'm sure that in any. All the options would have already been taken by whatever season The Walking Dead is but on. But you continue. The 1950s prison. They yeah. did try this, but maybe you had a different spin. Well, well, well my, my whole idea. idea was like, I mean, you've got the open areas for, for you know, recreation and stuff. Um, but that's not really the point of, of why I was introducing this. Okay. Because Schlatt then took that idea, and he was so excited, and he said, oh, this will be great because we have so many places that we can hold people. We're going to put the zombies in there, and I get to play with them. <laughs> Wow, you you have cells. Okay. No, well, we're gonna, there we're are gonna cells back up. for the zombies. I'm not confused about the layout of a prison. You can I, did you think that's what bothered cells. me? Did you think I got confused in the layout of a no, prison? No, no, I I know it functions with cells. You can in put them in areas. cells, trap them, and little then play pens. with them. No, I know how prison. Why do you works. keep saying that? Is your piece <laughs> video? My question is, how are you playing with them? <laughs> put That's on, the weird Put thing. them in the playpen. Put on some gloves, and then you you just play with them. Gloves? <laughs> I don't fucking know. What do you mean gloves? Why am I the bad guy here? You've never, you've never played you before. You're not the bad guy. You're the stupid guy. You can do experiments on the zombies to figure out what's wrong what, with them, yeah, and after also you're done, get a little play after time. you're done like playing. morally bad? No. What's wrong? It's just, playtime is just such a nebulous thing. If there was like, ever- oh, Playtime uh, is morally bad? Let, you are sick, man. Oh, you are okay. sick. YouTube wow, fails for wow. Schlatt, he's going to become an animal tester <laughs> for fun. He's going to be putting makeup on yeah. guinea pigs. Hey, try these Just finger with them. nail polish case raccoons. <laughs> I don't think there's a problem with that. <laughs> because you j- don't cough on me. Well, it was, don't it was, laugh cough on me. I don't want your flam. Please, please don't laugh You're on me. You're going in the sandwich. cell. We're it's, just saying. It's a light You're going in the going cell, to cell, and then gonna, I'm going to play with you. We call, we call it the play. Excuse it's a light, me. We call you it want me to play with you? It's going to be a... Well, I wouldn't mind play you time. You want daddy to play with Are you? Are you wearing gloves with our playtime? No. Then oh. I would enjoy our playtime. Skin to skin. Cough to cough. Cough to cough. Ooh. Boref's nodding. You're sniffing <laughs> a bit. I heard you sniff. <laughs> Been sniffing his mustache all day. That's impressive. Yeah. If you have a mustache, you can just sniff it. I can't grow out... Mustache. Oh, nice. I thought you. I thought you were saying you just couldn't do that. No. The, Have you tried just to push my lip? Up. Yeah. <laughs> you smell your upper lip. 
That's well, impressive. If you, if you don't have Thanks. hair, it's You're not going to smell like anything. You need a hair there. I'm going to take a stab here. This is good audio. You can't grow jack shit. I've never Charles. tried. I've never tried. Charles. That's all I was going to ask you as well. Like, have you tried? I How have uh, for six weeks, and I had I had oh. like just like longer, darkish hair here. It didn't okay. get like too too thick. Nothing on the cheeks. I'm I'm pointing to the uh, what is it? What do you call this? The goatee. The goatee. goatee. Yeah, the yeah. goatee. But on. also, it, then I had a goatee, and I didn't want that. That's ugly. Why as, wouldn't you no. want a goatee? Come really? On. I think goatees are. You could be like Lin Manuel Miranda. And who wouldn't? That's want, the and problem. who wouldn't want to be? And then you him. could bite your lower lip. Yeah, that would be hot. <laughs> that would be hot when Lynn did it. That yeah, kind of, Lynn. I mean, that that's was the, a generation changer. Yeah, that's the was. face I make before I play with my zombies. <laughs> 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 while you put the gloves on, while I you put stare on so, at Falconer's gloves. Here's yeah. speaking Maybe of leather. Speaking of growing hair, though, I mean, I I could definitely expose Schlatt right now. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. My cock doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> that's. I mean, you just offered that up, but that, that yeah, wasn't what I was getting at. You think that was a transition so from all, hair? So <laughs> if you look at all the places that Schleit doesn't have hair right now, uh -huh. the reason why he, he has it like that is because he can't grow hair there. Well, okay, surely right like here, like uh, right next there, to the yeah, chin. I can, you can, you can, I can get see, a little more. Well, see a little I'm talking about here, all the but, places but he doesn't right have here, hair. Yeah. Where the chops a little cut bit off, of a I can see that. Where the chops cut off, I can't It's grow almost there. comedic how they stop. Yeah, it's uh, like just straight up like this, just peach fuzz there and nothing else. I was just, I was just made. No, there's actually nothing. Really? Where I can't grow hair, nothing grows. Yeah. Really? I was I was made for the chops, I think. You and were so, made for the chops. And so once I realized You this, were made I, for the chops and to be played with. I embrace <laughs> it. To play I, with. I was made to be submissive and breedable. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, I hope you breed. Um <laughs> Looking at the looking at production over here. <laughs> Someone. And they, they're well, having, they just found out his penis didn't work, so they're they're still reeling on that one. You want to get into want a deep dive? No. Okay, all right. No, no deep dive. No, he no can't. So, Ludwig, <laughs> yeah. let's let's dive into you. When were you ever feeling the most submissive and breedable? Right. Okay. <laughs> and so, look, I thought we were gonna hit some basic questions, but I'm glad we're opening up here a bit. <laughs> let's open up the floor here to your submission and breedability. Can we can we do a round table age starting with you? How old you are? Just say how old I'm you are. I'm 23. I'm 26. Oh. oh. Dude, that's embarrassing. I almost said wow. 25. You're half. Yeah, you sounded myself. like you lied about it. You're half. Well, it's because I just turned 26, and You're, now I'm doing the thing where I'm I'm forgetting my age. You're I halfway to not that. being relatable anymore. Sorry, Bora. 52. What? Is that the related? That's halfway. That cuts off. Halfway half through your 20s. Oh, that's yeah. not how half. I'm 21. 22. No. Yeah, and he's yeah. young. He's young. Are you 21. Still? Mm -hmm. You've been doing it for a while. <laughs> I've been on 21 for a bit. Man. He's, yeah. He's 21, and that's why he acts like a brat I feel all like the time. You kind of ran that bit into the ground. I would try 22 or 21? something. 21. It just feels like, yeah, you've been doing it for too long. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's about that time. I'm going to, I'm good. Fun fact you know, famous birthdays, right? Yeah. I told them, oh, no. I told famous birthdays, they reached out to me. They're like, hey, when were you born so we could have you on our site? Um, I told them I was born the day before 9-11. 9-10. Yeah, 2001. 9 2001. Um, and then I put, like... And they under, believed you. I, I put, mm -hmm. I did a little return. So I another line, I said, yeah. the day before the tragedy. Right. <laughs> it didn't need to be said, but you said it. And then they updated the site with the info, and my page got to, like... I was, like, the most... I was, like, the 3,000th or 2,000th most popular person on the site and it then it goes they, by page clicks and then they wiped it yeah because they realized was well, your birthday pu not public well yeah you seem to keep getting into the situation like you get on famous birthdays and then they take it away you get verified on twitter and then they take it away because you like, i told everyone the president i got the United States I, or something I, like that. So was gonna fuck it i up. was i was verified for a short time i I'm remember sure this. we all remember this before yeah. uh, most before most yeah. before most i had the check before most early um and then your hubris in, got the best of you. In the next you were 40, a martyr. In the next 48 hours after being verified, I uh, told everyone I had won the election. <laughs> yeah. And then I also threatened the Queen of England's life. <laughs> um, and they took Who's that, in danger? They took that away from me. Yeah. I just- I And how it. dare they? Well, I mean, it, you can kind of read between the lines of what I said. You could read the, the lines. Queen. No, I, all I did to the Queen was I added her and I set a date. <laughs> That's threatening. No, it's not. That so yeah, no, up. it's not. A that up. is a threat. There's I think... no threat to just well, naming you, a date. Didn't you 
also correctly predict the month in which the uh, yeah the prin- <laughs> prince I Philip said, died? I said that July would be an interesting month. Like two months right. before he died. For Prince Philip. Did you save for Prince Philip? Yeah. Did. No. Yeah. Did you? Because we saw the fu- you remember the photo of yeah, him the one in the yeah, car, yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah, looking yeah. like comedically looking like he was in a, yeah. he looked yeah. like, like he, he just walked out of like a toaster. He looked yeah. like he was a white spike that had just been injected with the toxin. I know. Yeah, he looked fucked up. So you tweeted that out. I tweeted oh under Oh my god. Yeah, under a response. You don't under, know under when to photo. stop. I said July would be would be an interesting month. Were you were you roll, were you like I don't think I don't think this man is re- I don't think Schlatt's ever experienced a consequence in his life. I think this sounds oh, they like took a con- my, this is they a took my check mark away. Yeah. That <laughs> fucked no, with that me. That is man. like and getting, I'm never getting gold that star back. removed in third grade. <laughs> never getting that shit back. You'll get it back. No, I won't. You don't think? No. You're on like a, a blocked list? I think I'm on a blocked list. I feel like you'd get it by well, now. Well, are you you're actually, you know how it works, right? So no. there's an account called Twitter Verification. Oh, yeah. And if it follows you, you get verified. Mm. That's how it works. It didn't oh. block me. It just unfollowed me. That's like me. such an easy way to do that, too. Yeah. It's like so. It's it's an actual genius engineer who came up with that idea like eight years ago, and they just haven't changed it. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, you know, here's the thing, though. If somebody gets into that account. Someone, over. someone is right. There is like a guy you could grease, and oh, then yeah. just have him. I'm gonna say, yeah. so if I just tweet something really relatable to that guy specific. I mean, let's be honest here. The Twitter verified guy who's got the login is not an unbribable person. No, no one is. God, Clearly, no. everybody's got a number. Everyone's got a wife. Now the silk. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got someone they care about and deeply. Every, everybody's got. July date that's coming for them. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> be a little nervous. Got someone close to them mm. that they wouldn't want to see. Mm. Let me just say, go swimming with the fishes. Exactly. Let me just say, there's always an opportunity for. for By the way, to live Twitter. This is all life. in a video game. Well, <laughs> yeah. we're, can we? Can they? Can they take away your, your use of your check mark? I don't know. Just I'm a little, I just got it. You I'm, just got it? I just applied. They turned me down. They turned you wow. down? This morning I got an email. And oh. it said as well, like explicitly, like- It's probably because I'm back, a human being and you're a come back when you're a little more notable. It said- Really? Yeah, we, like to, we like to verify people I that are a little more notable. I they're being very rude. They denied Eddie Burback again, too. They've denied Eddie like five times. They, it's just They shame. denied a, a Chris Broad, a Broad in Japan uh, as well. Who well, he's like, he's not notable. Well, he has like articles in actual. You should I got know. articles, bro. I was on the Dream SMP. Of he's not I was on the Dream SMP. I got <laughs> articles. That's well, articles, articles, articles. Well, I didn't even submit. Did you submit articles? <laughs> what is that one? That's just no. You said you just did Google Trends. <laughs> yeah, I, I just like, I, I don't have any articles written about me. So I just really? I, I just <sighs> said, but I assumed that people were like searching up my height at least. So uh-huh. I put in my Google trend data and then. Twitter was like, all right. I put in articles because usually they say you articles, need three articles. articles. So oh, you got probably you got probably some beefy articles. I got some there. beefy articles nice. from like when I when I mashed like random. Ones. Oh, when you when you when I was mashing the big mash when I is that smash? I was the fastest button masher. Really? In the world. It started with you like a Mario, a Mario Party mini game. Yeah, Thank I saw you, yeah. this. I've yeah, only very like, recently become uh, like aware. Of, I wasn't aware of your like earlier you self. A, a Ludwig enjoyer ever. So now you're just finding out about some of the the lore. Um, the first time I ever heard about you was when um, I think like uh, Cooper C. Scoop had got. I think he had gotten uh, canes with you. And this was yeah. like a year ago. That was a big moment for me. Was getting canes. Was that the first? <laughs> yeah. No, that's when I met a no, lot I of. Uh, I think you were there. No. <laughs> yeah, so I met a lot of people. Great time. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I was the fastest button masher in the world for a, for a brief period. That's, world record. Holder. That's pretty cool. Was that something that you worked on, or something you just discovered one day? You just I worked on it. Fury. I was the worst really? masher in my friend group. So I worked. I worked furiously to be the what, best. What was, what was the game? Yeah. yeah, that like pissed you off enough to make that your goal. Mario was it Mario Party? Party? Yeah, it was Mario Party. We we would play Mario Party and I was I was the worst player and I was tired of being the worst so I I practiced a lot. And what I got good. was the secret to your success? Do you believe? Two thumbs. That's the st- I'm telling you. Two so yeah. a fingers rhythm, is the way a to rhythm of it. two thumb, thumbs, thumbs on one button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Two thumbs and and you kind of rotate it. I'll, I'll show you. Sometime. I didn't know you were yeah, a two thumber. You use the back of your hand. Yeah, to, to rotate your thumbs rotate are almost into still. Them. Yeah, but you rotate the button into your thumb. And uh, and I was able to hit like 160 consistently in uh, 10 seconds. Wow! And then I got about 200, like eight. 
Cause uh, and that was the record for a bit, and now it's like two thirty four. Jeez, that is right. essentially how. When I out. used to play Cookie Clicker, I would do this thing on my mouse where I would go like that. Yeah, on the mouse. Right, and that was take a little bit. Take yeah. a little bit. That's yeah. probably helped you mm-hmm. in other ventures. Yeah, I would think. I, I was going to ask that to you. Yeah, has that you know carried on into other you know ventures interests? I want you hobbies. to imagine grabbing a GameCube controller. Yeah. for a moment, and you can imagine that, right? Yeah, everybody at home could imagine this. Claw. Two and claws. now imagine using the same hand position for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Does it work in your mind? Maybe choking a squirrel to death. Yeah, you could choke a Two small animal, or you could just pummel their their just lungs. Hit them together. <laughs> oh yeah, just, that's actually yeah. a lung grab right there. I could do very fast that's CPR. That's a compression. I could yeah, do insane. Yeah. I that's could keep, save. Get in there. I could be a hero. Or or Mortal Kombat. If you're ever fighting someone Mortal Kombat style, in their chest, grab their lungs. Squeeze, squeeze. They're dead. So you are now in his boot camp of playing with zombies. This is what you're you're joining that side right this now. No, I'm talking their, about real living people. Like to play. Murdering them. Oh. Yes. So then you should have no problem playing with little zombies with gloves on. Falcon no, because that's fucked up because they're already dead. That's just okay. necrophilia, no, that's basically. That's not fucked up. Zombies have secrets. What? <laughs> I don't, they have what, I don't know what. I don't know what. Like, you gotta, like what? You you're gotta, gonna, it's like the you're fucking gonna, war of tomorrow. You're gonna, it's the war of tomorrow. Oh. You, you gotta. You gotta. Yeah, yeah, remember when they played with them? You remember when you they gotta, played? You gotta, you gotta the get tomorrow. Did you? War. No, you didn't watch it. Did you? We all we watched, watched it, all it last night. Last night. Was it a treat? It was. It was really good when they played with them for two hours. Was it? Such a badass movie. Have you seen Fast Nine? Yeah. That, did you I like the that. new fans? <laughs> yeah. I like that too. It's one of those things where you can let your brain shit off. It's like when I when I used to go to movies like this with my dad with. Growing up, my dad would say, "I'm not looking for a good movie. I just want to see stuff blow up," and that applies here. It's like what a simple man. What did your dad do for? Did you just call my work? dad a simple man. <laughs> yeah, if you show up to the theater and you say, "I just want to watch stuff blow up," well, because he knows what he's. Like, wow, the complicated thoughts of this man. Well, because he knows what he's expecting. Like if you're going to see Transformers, right. like that. you're not looking for like. I think simple man isn't art a negative house. Thing. Is it a negative thing? No, I don't it's think not it's a negative, negative thing. thing. Okay. My dad took Fine. me to Transformers. Uh, after I'd broken my thumb at a baseball game. Yeah. <laughs> you actually, I've heard this story from you. It's yeah, funny. I told it before. Mm-hmm. We, Ted still playing. hasn't apologized. You just broke your thumb? Ted hasn't apologized from when he ran onto the field as I was in the outfield and broke my thumb with a baseball bat. Wait, wait, who? Ted. Me. You, this, is this? Is a, this is fiction. Yeah. And so okay. my dad, well, the, the broken thumb is, yeah, is non-fiction. Yeah, real. After the game, we didn't go to an urgent care or anything. We went to the, uh, the bow tie cinema. Do you think you're just going to transform your thumb better? Why do we? No. What, and, why why no, are you telling us about the bow tie cinema? No, right my now. dad, because bow tie cinemas are complete dog shit. What, 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 did he have like, did he say anything? Like, surely my he dad didn't silently up. drive you here. No, he, I wanted to watch it too. And the idea was Megan Fox is there. That'll be a good time. You could look <laughs> at her big toe all you want. What? This is the uh, big, he's talking about her thumb. And the thumb. No, she's got a crazy big toe too. Really? You should look that shit up. Yeah. I, but we went there, and my dad was like, "How do you learn about this stuff?" You, we went Thank there, God and my dad. We don't have Ian in the studio today. <laughs> my dad was like, "Can we have a cup of ice? My son's thumb is broken." Yeah, and so I just, I had to hold it. So the thing with broken bones, is you want to elevate them. So I was watching a movie like this with a cup of ice and my thumb in it. Is your thumb good now? Do you have you lost mobility? No, my thumb works. I don't even he remember ne- which one. Well, it was, he never to be took honest. you to the hospital after that, though. So your thumb's a little bit fucked up. No, we went like my fingers we fucked up. Hospital. I thought you told I, me I broke that you my didn't. finger and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, like I can do. Oh, what did Ted? Well, no. what did Ted do to you? Normally, so t- let me tell you about this menace. <laughs> hey, boys! Today's episode of Chuckle Sandwich is sponsored by Manscaped, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming. It's back to school time, and we want to make sure that you pack the essentials to have the best year yet. The Manscaped fourth generation performance package is just that. Ooh. Things are opening up, folks. Boys, you know that? Be ready. Oh, yeah. Okay, for whatever is in your daily schedule for you. You need you're gonna need to be clean of all that hair, Charlie. Are you taught yeah, you think I need to be clean of all that hair? Oh, I was just saying you could do wow, that. That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude to single out Charlie. <laughs> yeah, for that's that pretty time. messed up. I mean, but on, I'll tell bro. you what's not messed up. This is the perfect package for your package. And it includes the brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Fellas, you could be the valedictorian of ball trimming. Join the 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com with the code CHUCKLE. Honestly, guys, I gotta say, off script, the 4.0 is where it's at. 
They sent it to me. I've been using the 3.0 for honestly like years. Okay. Yeah, the you're 4. all about it. Balls. just improves on everything. Mm -hmm. Improves on everything. It's got a fucking light. It's got a little little switch on it so that it doesn't turn on during your little traveling. It's waterproof. Yeah, and Schlott, you deal with a lot of balls, right? Oh, I do. I do. I love balls. You guys know me. I love balls. And this one won't nick them. The package also comes with the weed whacker, which is a nose hair trimmer and an ear hair trimmer. Uh, it actually works pretty well. I use that sometimes when they get a little too long. And also, it comes with uh, some some ball toner, which I like. I spray it on my balls whenever oh, I'm about to. Oh, we love the ball toner. And I'll tell I you love what: the ball toner. after you finish trimming toner. your pubes and cleaning your holes, you can show them. Some Why love. did they put that in? You the... can show them what? some love with Manscaped liquid formulations. We're talking the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. They're here to make sure you're ready for class in the day and party at night. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code CHUCKLE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code CHUCKLE at manscaped.com. This year, graduate with a degree in clean balls with Manscaped. Now let's get back to the episode. Normally you could like close your finger all the way so yeah, you can touch yeah, your, yeah. your top part to the mm -hmm. back. And I, I can't because Ted... Mm -hmm. When we were playing backyard football, mm -hmm. Ooh, my punted game. the ball, and I went to receive it. I fumbled it like an idiot, and he slid like in. Like he knew you would. He slid in with his body hitting the ball that my finger was touching. Oh, oh And it bent backwards. Um. But I, I forgive you now. <laughs> oh, oh, my shit. God. Holy fuck. Completely. There was a, a waft that hit me from that cough oh, that waft. time. Is it a waft? It's a waft. It's a waft. It's a, I think I'm an English major. I, I know this one. I brought this up. Mm. Are you really? Yeah, I got a degree for that. What are some other words? Should we give you? Should we give you like charcutamont? What does that mean? I don't know. I <laughs> was hoping you wouldn't go that far. Should we give you words and see if you know the, the yeah. what they are? This is this is a test of my eighty thousand dollar degree. Just hit me. Hit okay, me. Hit gregarious. Me. Big. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep no, going. Talk uh, gregarious is talkative. Large. Um, trepidatious. Ooh, nervous. I'm so. That, trepidatious. That's actually correct. So that's correct. Perfect um, word. Uh, uh, perforate. Automatopoeia. Per, uh, per, perforate. Perforate. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spread. I'm a gossip queen. No, it's I'm gonna like, spread this around. No, no, no. It's like putting holes in something. Okay. Right. Onomatopoeia. Oh, what does that sound like? Bang. Bazinga. So uh, that's about four for four right there, and that shows you that <laughs> it's not a waste, kids. All right, you stay in school. Stay in school, kids. You learn those words. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. That's not, by the way, how it goes. They don't just. They're not like, hey, kids. That's how you get he got his degree. He, they sit you down for four years and they say eyes. words at you. You yeah. need to learn just keep all snapping. of these words <laughs> but by the time you graduate. And they shoot a gun next to you. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> an onomatopoeia? The test is just 50 words. And then you just <laughs> well, if like, you oh, shot a gun at some like at someone and said, what was the action of that gun? That wouldn't have been an onomatopoeia, Yeah, though. but they say bang at the same time. Oh, know. okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're um, tricky. Yeah. So, um... Here's a question. Yeah, absolutely. No, you've thought about this one too. This is, you've <laughs> yeah, been no, working I've, on this one. I've thought about this one a lot. I mean, God, I can't believe you're bringing it up now, but I please am, do. I am. Don't um, stall any longer. I'm ready for it. Gonna, it. I didn't you knew really, it was going to have to. I didn't come really up. watch a lot of your 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 subathon. So, how did you sleep? And like, were you afraid that you were going to like talk in your sleep? I came in my pants he at night. <laughs> he come. I come to myself. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you why are you can't. nodding? Why are you nodding, Borov? Borov, <laughs> Borov gave us. Like a you were there. Up. I slept. Borov's like, and yeah, then I, also I woke up myself. and I went. Oh, I come to myself. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like the first thing you said. Yeah, I was like, oh, I come to myself. <laughs> and then I got up and it was like walking through a movie theater aisle. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Made my way to the bathroom, cleaned up, and then streamed. Is this no one real? Knew. Yeah, no one. This knew. is this is very real. You were sleeping on stream, and you said you had come to yourself. Well, I didn't say it to the chat. I said it I to myself. I thought you said it to the chat, and I was like, "There's gonna no, be a no, clip I, somewhere of, of of Ludwig saying, oh, I come myself, yeah, like that's on a Twitch.' Great clip. Yeah, Why yeah I, I would get banned for sure. <laughs> no, so uh, I I, uh, I I muted my I muted my computer. I muted my microphone when right. I would sleep. Oh, that's so smart. So there was no way for me to be heard mm -hmm. or to communicate uh, or be communicated to when I was sleeping. 
I was under the impression for a while that like sleeping streams were against TOS. Is that was that just never true, or is that just it's a... never true? What's against TOS is being in a it's category in sleeping and coming yourself, <laughs> and then saying I cummed myself. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I could. Imagine. But there's no way to avoid that. If it's you... going to happen, it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, I think the idea is like it just happens. You deal with it. It's fine. Yeah. Like you can shit yourself, but you can't then go, oh, I shit myself and show your shit stain. <laughs> <laughs> and then be like, yeah, check out this big shit stain. Because <laughs> then they'd be they'd be like, oh, okay, guys, yeah, a little far here. Things happen. Things happen. Things happen. Humans, you come human yourself. bodies you do yourself. things. Damn. That just must be so weird, though, like going to sleep and then waking up and everyone, like there's a certain amount of people that see you wake up. Have you never had a wet dream? What? Have you ever had a wet dream? You ever come to not yourself? With, not have with you 30,000 people in the <laughs> I room? honestly can't remember a time that I've, I've come myself Some people my haven't come to themselves. <laughs> have you? Have you? I don't, I've never, no. Have I you? don't think I've come to myself. <laughs> 30 times. You've come you keep 30 times? times? Do you keep, times? Times? Do you keep a little times? like tally next to your bed? You pull I, out the knife yeah, and it's I actually out the knife one. And I die into and my wall. And yeah. it's not something you've grown out of either. <laughs> I'm not proud uh, of this. Come to fact. myself. I hope you guys know this. I know, but you seem to be very excitedly offering it up to us. I'm, well, yeah, I'm telling you just for this, for your information. This okay. Is, this is who I am. And so th this, this is... This is real. This is me. <laughs> Ludwig, yeah. big masher. It's part of myself. <laughs> yeah, those are the big two for me. Those are the big two. So it wasn't a shock to me as I guess what I'm saying. Because if you would, for the first time ever... So you woke come up to yourself in front of thirty thousand people. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that would, would be jarring. You're saying, That'd be yeah, terrifying. That'd be, be sticky. Bad. But if you've been uh. through the motion of the ocean on a Saturday night, <laughs> all right? Why, why did you? <laughs> you just <laughs> kept the gumption of the gumption. The highs yeah. and lows of high school football. <laughs> the gumption of the gumption. The highs and lows <laughs> of high school football. Uh, yeah, you just you take care of business. Okay. What wow. day? What I mean, day was that? Out of you sound this, like it was an a huge. It was like a month long stream, right? This was like a couple weeks. The days blend. I couldn't tell you any individual day what I did, but it was it was like halfway through. How the hell did you stay on that entire time? Stay on, like you know, performing, doing a live. I don't stream. think I was like us three after a day of doing podcasts. Especially this one. We can't even come ourselves. Yeah, we can't even come ourselves. <laughs> we can't, can't even. Your dick doesn't work we anyway. Can't, we're so, like a no. bunch of, we're, <laughs> we're like, if you, what are you gonna say, we're a bunch man? of little jellyfish walking well, around. Well, okay, I I don't think you watched a lot of the subathon, so I can I can say this freely. Yeah. The, the I mean, content I would, it, was bad. I mean, <laughs> so. It was bad content. I mean, it, I was impressed by how long you were doing it. I would yeah. go in and check every now and then and like see, oh, he's still doing it good for him. But yeah. I, I mean, what are you gonna do for a month, like when you don't have time to like sit down and like plan it and stuff? I you mean, you know like, when like David Blaine does like a challenge, like I, I'm gonna sit on a roof for 76 days. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love yeah. that guy. Yeah. No, I love minute the, of I love that the 76 day roof challenge. That was my it, favorite. It's the conce conceptually. Yeah, no yeah. single minute of that. You're like, wow. Yeah. But it, if at, you're at the end, you're like, my fucking god, that was 76 yeah. days on a roof. What a legend. Is there anyone? Is there any way to tell if there was uh, like who watched that subathon the longest? Like viewer wise, like a view, a single viewer, like because, like an I don't know, it's tough. At because... the end of the year, yeah, because Twitch does like a Spotify wrap up type thing where mm. they, they show you how many hours, so it, they'll have to keep watching to maybe see the full hours. But if they stop watching, they'll know as well. Right. Uh, but that would be the the best way to tell. Was it a circulation, or did you have a lot of regulars that you just saw consistently the entire month? I I had a bunch of people who spent a long time, like just kept it up. Wow. Like that's what a lot of people would do is they would just. You know, three monitor Andes. They just have it on their third permanently, until, wow. just in case it ends. Like I'm just gonna have this up, and they go to school or work or whatever, and I'm I'm just gonna keep it up. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, and that was still in a time that there was a little bit of online school happening for the pandemic, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. it was. Yeah, it was. so that's like that's probably the ball. yeah that was probably a pretty easy time to do it. Too. Yeah, hundred percent. I gotta ask you as a Twitch guy, what the hell does Andy mean? I always hear that. It, it means it's just like yeah, just like guy. I, I take it away. Andy. No, take uh, yeah. it away. I would You're love right. for you to do this. Okay, I, I, I would well, like for you to do this, and because then I can fact check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's what I'm I was Politico. hoping. So my understanding is that is a a regular from a certain platform. So like a Twitch Andy is like someone who's like always well, my on Twitch, understanding. and they, what do I and they know like the lingo. But like you've got, or is that frogs? This don't guy's it, smoking weed yeah, let over it happen, here. Let this it happen. happen. Let him. Oh, you know what? You know what? Okay. No, I don't. You're thinking of frog. Yeah. I am thinking of frog, but I think when I, I've only heard it in the context used of like, um, no disclaimer. Oh, I got this many viewers. Oh, I was 100K Andy. It's because identity was removed for the ease of of 
of talking about people. So so everyone's Andy. It started with Andy Milanakis. Ah, and then uh, and then there was another person named Andy, and uh, and they just called him I think Mexican Andy, mm-hmm. just to clarify between him and Andy Milanakis. And then as a joke, like more people came through, and instead of being like, "Hey, my name's Jared," and being like, "Hi, Jared." They were like, oh, no, you're Italian. You're Italian Andy now. <laughs> and basically using a very obvious uh, characterization of the person mm-hmm. and then Andy Afterwards. to describe them. Sounds like the comedians we were listening to on the Tesla favorites playlist. Yeah. Yeah. So I rent the Tesla whenever I'm in L.A. You do do that. I do. Well, before you get into that, one question. Okay. How was my definite? If you apply the Andy thing Fuck to my def- definition Fuck of frogs, was that right? Yeah, unbelievable. Maybe. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Maybe, yeah. It was close. Yeah. It was close. Go for it. I rent a Tesla whenever I'm in LA. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's this station called Tesla Favorites. He's a Tesla Andy. And uh, it's just like, it's like <laughs> Olivia <laughs> Rodrigo and a bunch of old stuff and then a bunch of comedy. And the comedy is just not funny. Use that, use that term liberally okay. as well, comedy. The yeah. Tesla radio station. Tesla hits so like okay the favorite songs of, <laughs> of people all that tesla drive tesla oh, they pool tesla drivers i think they do that's kind of funny they it, must, it's right? like it's every tesla comedian favorites. that comes on it's like this like their bit their sets are just obscenely racist it is only like racist give me a characterized joke comedy. like just well he was he, he was basically <laughs> well i'll just summarize it there was this one that we were listening to and he was like talking about he was like oh i love all these cultures this is how jews act this is how Chinese people act. This is how Korean people act. And it was just all caricatures of those people. Yeah. And it was just, we were just listening. We were like, this isn't even funny at all. This is just terrible. I like, yeah, I could see how people would enjoy this going uh, zero to 90 in two yeah, seconds. Yeah, you did rent a Tesla. You know? so, yeah. they, so they let the car drive for them and they listen. So so you got a, you got a Christian, a Jewish, and a, an yeah. Arabic guy yeah. walking into a bar. Yeah. And then you hit a fucking light post. That's the last thing you ever yeah. hear. Yeah, yeah. No, it <laughs> that's was, great. It was, uh, it was rough. That's so. I went to Vegas and I went to a show called Absinthe, and hmm. and like you know, you it's a comedy show. Absinthe. Yeah, and uh, and you go to a show, and this is like what entertains people, right? That's the idea of it. Right. And uh, and we walk in, and it's like a small circus that holds like a few hundred people, and the guy walks out, and I don't know if he's doing a Rick voice from Rick and Morty. <laughs> He's like 55 with slicked back hair. He looks like Danny DeVito and Matilda, if you ever watched that, that Sounds movie. like a great set. And uh, and he goes out, and, and he's just the most, it's just as it's just crass. He's just saying crass stuff for, for Lol W's with like boomer people. Like Rick from Rick and Morty. So yeah, he, so he walks in, he's like, what if like a grizzly bear came in here and we had to eat our way out of the cum to escape the tent? And that and that's unironically what the whole set would be. And then he had like an assistant woman who'd be like, and I'd just be like finger banging myself the whole. And it was just like this. There was a guy that was like that on on the Tesla radio. Too, but it would there? make it would make the people who are like forty plus so uncomfortable that they would just laugh. I think. Oh, is the idea. so that was the goal. Laughing. Yeah, and so mm. they, they would point out they'd be like, look at these two people up front. You guys are definitely gay. You'd be sucking each other off. <laughs> Wait, yeah, like ra- ra- raise your hand if you're coming right now in the <laughs> yeah. audience. Yeah. Oh, uh, it, was, it was that the whole time, and I was like, you know, because I think I forget because I listen to uh, to shows and and YouTubers and stuff all within kind of my bubble, right? Th- that this is a huge legion of comedy for a lot of people, and I'm yeah. like, damn, what are you, <laughs> what do you see in him? Yeah, Ted what tells do you see me, in him? Ted tells me I can do stand up. Yeah, I think you could do stand up, but now when you were talking about that, I'm realizing the zombies. I'm realizing I think you could do stand up. I could do a good set about what I do in the zombie apocalypse. I think. You know what? I, I don't. Here's the thing about stand up. I've done. I did it for a. a, a oh, a you've good done stand up. Yeah. How long? I did it for like two, three years in college. Oh. Wow. I wish I had done a little bit in college. How was that? It, it was good. It was good. It was fun. It was. It was. <laughs> I mean, the way it works in college is you do it with like a group. Like everybody shows up to the stand up oh, night, see. right? Mm. And so like that's your main support. Oh, so you did group. It at the college. Yeah, yeah, right. and and but like you're that's usually nice. at like a fucking like a you know the hot vegan like yeah, lunch the hot, spot. The hot vegan yeah, lunch you're just like spot, annoying right. the fuck out of all the other people there who are right. just there to get like the delicious food. And you like stand up, and everyone's like, <laughs> "Hey guys, here's my here's my meat joke." You're like, set. "Hey guys, <laughs> uh, 
Got a great bit about zombies to so stick around till the end. <laughs> and, you know. Hey, guys, where's the beef? <laughs> it's not exactly like it's the Laugh Factory and they're buying your ticket, so it's, right. it's a little bit different. It's open mics, which is, which is I think, harder in a way. So you kind of have to grind it. How scary was it doing your first ever stand-up open mic? What was that like? It wasn't bad. I, I, I'm i pretty, I'm pretty comfortable public speaking. So mm-hmm. I think even if I fail to like have a like good written jokes i can i feel like i can entertain a crowd with some stories okay so uh, actually a lot of like youtube videos i do like stories and stuff Mm -hmm. i started doing stories in stand-up that would be like most of my stand-up would be like one pretty elongated story yeah uh which can be a like a good amount of stand-up you know like a like a dane cook back in the day he would be like a story guy do we all like i don't know if the this is sort of a bit of a tangent but Did everyone as a kid sort of have the a mutual experience thinking Dan Cook was like the best comedian in the world? Or he was funny like for that? a while. He was no, really funny. I don't even know. If I when know. I was really, really young, like young, like first discovering, oh, stand-up comedy is a thing. I remember hearing like Dan Cook stuff off of like YouTube in like 2008. Yeah. And like being like, this is the funniest shit I've Look, ever seen in my entire right life. Right now he's more plastic than man and he has not made is anything Is he really? <laughs> yeah. He has gotten <laughs> he plastic is. surgery out the ass. Oh, Lord. And he hasn't made anything funny in a decade, but I think he had like a good stretch where he had some funny jokes and good stories and he was captivating. Right. He was like a very captivating storyteller. I like Jeff Dunham. And, uh, no, you don't. You oh, skipped over him on the Tesla favorite. Oh, we love puppet, no, you don't. His puppet we, Ahmed, we, the dead but only in that is the that is the ultimate like boomer comedy. He had a is puppet. getting a dead he terrorist had puppet to, ju- dead to just say to just say silence. I kill you over silence. Over. I kill you. You do uh, it actually. Show he does funny, it well bro. enough that that's I think more of, he, more of, is he a fan. remembers that shit. He's shaking his head. He's shaking his head and he doesn't want to be involved. He's shaking he his head because he he, he was actually on set for that. <laughs> he gave him the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love what you're doing out there. I just feel like he needs a catchphrase, something zingy, <laughs> something quick, something <laughs> fast. So yeah, I've, I've done stand up and uh, and it's it is a bit nerve wracking. I I've, mm-hmm. I've, I've I've never bombed. Really? Never bombed? Yeah. Do you no. keep track of like which jokes maybe hit less than you expected them to and stuff like that? Because I've heard that that's a thing you do when you when you go and do stand up. Yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, I think that's that's something you do. Uh, I I'm I'm not saying I've never bombed. By the way, to say I was amazing, it's more so that I think I never like fell totally flat that people were like, get it the fuck out of here. Yeah, and also I think exited because I think a lot of bombing is like exiting your comfort zone enough. You know, that like you're switching up your style. Mm-hmm. Like I kind of stuck to a style that I knew would work. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't maybe bomb because I, I knew it would do at least okay. Uh, which Ludwig, I think was a bad thing. I think I should. I think bombing would have been a good thing to do. Because at least then you learn. Yeah. Yeah. Like try something really out there. Just try to write a bunch of zingers and see if it works. So, would, do you, Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I mean, how important, because this is one thing that's very big for me on Twitch and, and uh how important is kind of playing the crowd for you? Because I, I know from experience it's very, very difficult when you're kind of just doing it to a screen. Yeah. Um, I used to have a, I printed off, uh, when I started doing YouTube, I printed off a crowd of people that looked very happy and hung it above my monitor, so it felt like I was getting positive really? reinforcement. Wow. That is so sweet. <laughs> I don't, it's like Charlie's I, one of the sweetest people you're like, yeah. you're like literally ever going to wait. This sounds made. like halfway through your recording, your mom knocked on the door with a fresh set of cookies. <laughs> And said, she actually, she's a baker. She works she's at a bakery. A baker. Yeah, it's oh, a really? This is oh, so fucking funny, dude. Of she course. Yeah. Fucking bakery. Of course. Oh, I don't know. Like, she comes back from the bakery. I'm, I, oh, oh, you're doing. Oh, honey, sorry. Honey, so sorry, sorry, sorry for interrupting. I watched the last video. No, I had to write. Uh, yeah, I had to. I had to write an essay quite a few times on why YouTube was a legible career choice. Um, but uh, to your mom? Yeah, to my mom. Is that how that worked? Is that how that? Wow. That's how it worked out for me. I was very young when I. Is started. that how that worked with your family? Like you would write an essay. Oh, you mean how it worked with my family? Yeah. Yeah, with my mom. Because like that's not a normal thing to do. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> when I was a, when I was a, when I was a kid, uh, hey, let me just break it down. For you. <laughs> I, just, I, I think most people don't write essays when they want to like, do something. Just slow down there, son. Um, yeah, when I was a kid and Skyrim first came out, yeah, uh, I had I wrote an essay because that it was 2011. A, it was an M-rated game, and in 2011 I was fucking 10 years younger, so 11 or 12 or something. Yeah, but I really wanted it. It looked cool. So I wrote like a five-page essay. What? I tried, yeah, I tried really hard. Double space, um, at least I imagine. Uh, no. No. No double I well, space. I didn't, well, I didn't, five I didn't page know single space. Dude, essay? I didn't know double space was I real until I was a, in like I, high school. I don't think I've ever even I ever in my entire college experience even wrote a five-page single space. Yeah. Me either. Essay. If um, I was your parent, I would say go. 
fuck yourself. I'm not reading this, Charles. Well, if they yeah, well, asked she read for it and then, then said go fuck yourself, Five that would pages? be a little bit of a I was whiplash. like, give me a page, son. Get to the point. Right. So she said no. So I asked my dad and he got it for me instead. Uh, did you wow. show him the essay? No. Okay. So your mom's. <laughs> wow. Okay. I see how that No, he's too busy. He used to be laughing at Alchemy the Dead Terrorist. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Of Why course. Why didn't you just go to dead first? Uh, I had a whole. There was like a handoff kind of situation. So there's always my, yeah. There's always I was like, like oh, ask your mother. I, yeah. Yeah. Ask your father. Ask yeah. your mom. Ask your dad. Yeah. That's what. It's, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm, busy, I'm busy baking here. Um, I got a bakery to run. I'm no, making but, muffins. Well, no. She she recently started the bakery though. This oh, is a recent thing. A couple years ago. Yeah. Time is time is fully just compressed for the, me at this point. Right. Especially in this job. No, but what I had asked originally, I didn't give you a chance to answer, was like, is it ever weird feeling like you're kind of just playing to a crowd you can't see or gauge a reaction off of? How do you deal with that? I think uh, it's not too dissimilar. I mean, like, hmm. obviously you're just reading lol w's or something, but you know, I mean, the chat when there's that many people in it is pretty much like accurate to how okay. you're doing you can get a vibe with like you can get like with the and i think the faces yeah the faces the face the, no the, i mean you're not wrong like yeah. objectively it, they, it's emotes but they're objectively faces and it tells you how they are feeling as a group about what you are doing and if they are not typing then they are not interested that's and why if the numbers mm. are dropping because you know they're not typing because they're not interested because they're leaving then that also is like a tell that's, that's why right. it was probably it's so hard to deal with a Twitch frog audience, boom, got yes. it, got it. Um, well, yeah, because it's like you're Something there's there. just full sentences being going through the chat like yeah. the whole time, and it's like you can't really keep track of that. Um, that's all I had to you say. You mean about a non-Twitch that. frog audience? Like a did YouTube I say Twitch frog? frog? Yeah, I meant YouTube Twitch frog. frogs. I went Twitch you, frogs just I meant, do gutex. I meant a YouTube frog audience. Yeah, because yeah, I'm posting I was so essay close in the chat about why my mom up. should let me watch the stream. You <laughs> sound like my mother telling me about streaming right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting I'm, there. I'm, I'm, I'm. So here's a question I have. Yeah, please. Um, do you ever think that? So you you have experience doing stand up. Do you ever think that? Um, now that you have this huge audience with with Twitch and stuff, that you would ever like tour and then do stand up? And like, can try to convert that. Like, would it, would that ever be like an even a live viewers? show? Yeah, I've I've considered something like that, like a live event. I think touring is something that every person who's done it in the YouTube space always, maybe not regrets, but doesn't recognize how much fucking time and effort you mm -hmm. have to put into it, mm -hmm. and how much your channel slips, and how much it's not usually worth. You are a you are a one video a day. Yeah. Andy. Yeah. Mm. So. Mm. For my YouTube frogs. For my YouTube frogs so, out there. Also, do you feel like this? I feel like if I did that, I know right now, if I was like, hey guys, I'm going to do a set in, you know, whatever, somewhere in, you know, Hollywood. Austin. 200 fucking place. Hollywood. It, it, it I would probably get a lot of people to show up. But I wouldn't have deserved it through stand up. I would have deserved it through funny YouTube video, which right. is so yeah, different. Of which I don't I don't know if that I don't I don't think I, don't I feel good about that. Oh, okay. So you're saying that like you would if you if you did stand up and you got laughs and you got appreciation for it, it would be because of the merit that you had from your actual Just them showing status. up would be because of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, feel a bit I think bad though about. that hmm. there is a bit to recognize there that if you already have experience doing stand up and you and you can like because you do the stories mm. on your streams and you kind of convert those two things together maybe not make it an, a, like a strictly here's a set here's what I do I've got the water on the little yeah. fucking bench thing there and I sip it in between every like you you could mix the two and like make it something well, new. Well, I'll, I'll give you a scoop. All right, I'll give a a, a chuckle scoop today. We've okay. got a chuckle scoop, Scott. Can you put a, a chuckle choop. scoop on the screen right now? Hey, we got a chuckle scoop. A little bit of a choop. I am in. planning on. Uh, this is something I'm Whoa. going to do. A uh, s like a convention type thing. Like what does that a, mean? Like a little Ludcon? Like Ludwig a Ludwig con. convention. Like wow. a Tanacon. Yeah, but it's going to be a hybrid <laughs> convention and <laughs> Smash tournament. That's very oh, that's cool. fun. Yeah, so that's I want it. I want it to be the biggest smash tournament of all time, but I also want it to be like, you know, hey, you, wear a suit? you like Ludwig? <laughs> Fucking come on down. Uh, yeah, you've made you've made a, a very good name for yourself in the Smash community. Yeah, a lot of the stuff you've done. Yeah, I mean, has that been something you've kind of been tapped into from the start? You've been yeah, that's what started you? me. Yeah. Oh, straight up. He's straight a up. Yeah, I'm fr I'm from that community. Like I started with commentary. So like I did uh, the same time I was doing like comedy in college, I was also playing Smash, 
And then I moved to LA and I was like, I'm going to do comedy. But in the meantime, I'll just play Smash. And then I found a guy in the scene who was doing like a podcast that was like a comedy podcast. Oh, wow. And I, and I went on his podcast a couple times, Slime. He's my roommate now. Mm. Uh, the man I've tattooed on my leg. Yeah. And then, uh, and then that's where like the whole streaming stuff started. Because I, I never planned on streaming on YouTube. I thought I would just do like a comedy thing in LA and work at a editing job for a magazine. Mm-hmm. And use my English degree and journalism degree for good. Mm. Use your degree. And, and then you prob- I just and you probably would have gotten available. verified even sooner if you had gone that route. Do you know yeah. what's funny? When I submitted for verification, I put in a story I wrote in conjunction with a story written about me. To think, be like, can this count? Like, I wrote a story about watersheds in Arizona and how they help with uh with like rainfall. Sounds like I should have put my fucking thesis film. Well, it turns out thing. you can't mix. And the, huh? she got denied that time. Yeah. They, oh. they denied me. They're like, well, wow. okay, you can't talk about fucking how watersheds. trees and watersheds yeah. and then be like, I'm an influencer. Wow. They don't care about trees and watersheds? They don't care about Twitter? trees and that watersheds on Twitter. You're how a watershed influencer. I'm a watershed influencer. I'm trying to bring awareness to watersheds. They're scared for the truth to get out, huh? They they are bitches. <laughs> oh, hey, a flood is coming. Yeah. <laughs> you should have yes. talked about P-Arishness. P-Arishness? P-Arishness. P-Shyness. P-Shyness. I wrote a great story on that. Guess, P-shyness? Yeah. Pierisis. Yeah, it's the condition. A lot just happened that I don't think I followed. Pierisis is a condition of P-shyness. I wrote my 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 final, my essay, my final essay for, for college mm. on that. In, uh, in Your final a, hurrah. A beautiful, great. Yeah, you just have to do a journalism story. And so I interviewed the head of the Pierisis Association. There's an association? They meet. They have meetings to talk about how they can't they- pee-pee. Well, or poo poo. Where do they meet? They can't poo poo either. <laughs> they so they start in a regular building and then they'll meet, and then slowly migrate towards the bathroom while talking. No way. <laughs> no and then, way. And then what? slowly get in there, and then do group poops. No, they no no that that's fuck, that's fucking a lie. No, they, this is the problem, Schlatt. Too many people are taking the piss out you of You lie. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the group is, it's, everyone's so shy to talk about it. The guy I talked to literally asked to be under, uh, uh undercover. Anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. Wow. Whoa. Not wow. on the books, off the record. It's so you... like alone, though, they can do it, right? No. No? They can't do it in a public restroom at all. Oh, in a public restroom. But if Yeah, in their at, own if... bathroom, they're fine. Yeah, sure. Okay. Somewhere they feel safe. I can safe. kind of get yeah. that. That's fine. I can sort of understand Do you think that. maybe if they had some sort of, met, like, great toilet upgrade, like a heated seat, and a wonderful bidet um, that they would be able to probably it'd make it easier. Like a nice music going. I yeah. I, uh, I used to swim a lot, and for some reason it got me in the mindset of like I'm like I can't make myself pee underwater. So at <laughs> one point I was like sailing. I used to like sail, and I really had to go to the bathroom, so I hopped in the water. Right? Yeah. And just could I not. Just couldn't you? Couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Have do you it. never done it? Peeing underwater? Yeah. And it just doesn't happen. It feels so I'm, good. I'm so scared. It's freeing. I don't know why. There's I'm a just great so bit, afraid of it. Uh, I, from I, I forget who. I think it was uh it was the guy who was in the league, John LeJoy or John LeJoy, mm-hmm. about shitting next to a toilet. Like not in the toilet, but shitting right next to your toilet on the ground. And Fuck how society. difficult that is to do to force your body to shit next to a toilet. I guess it's like sleeping next to your bed. I mean, when you sit on the toilet, like your body like activates. Yeah. It's but if you if you try shitting next to it, you can touch the toilet with your hands. You still can't make yourself shit. And I tried and I couldn't shit. Chuckle sandwich listeners at home. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> the lovely hey, hey, shit shot. Scott, can we get can we get a chuckle scoop on the screen once again? Try this is another to chuckle shit scoop. Shit next to your toilet. And come back to us with the results. Hey, you, I think most you of you call yourself struggle. a shitter out there. Let's fucking put that to the test. That's Let's what see I if, said. if you actually have control of your mind. All right, mm-hmm. or, or does your mind control you? Because this is the real who test. Can, who controls you? The poop or the shitter? <laughs> now go ahead and shit on the floor. <laughs> prove your prove your shit strength. Shit on the floor. Prove your strength. <laughs> Everyone, of Swifty, go home. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, your yeah, bathroom. Yeah, 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 shit nice. on your floor. Yeah, I dare you three to try it as well. No. In Let's this, go. Or in the, t- I have Pierisis. T- t- hotel, you can try it. Pierisis. You have Pierisis? Yeah. You have Someone, a bit of Pierisis. I walked in. The, I had Pierisis once. I was at a hackathon. This sounds like a traumatic, the way you're bringing yeah, it up. Yeah, it does. I was at a hackathon. We oh, were doing no. it. You're a big nerd. That is a nerdy thing. Like, so is that where you hack in a marathon? This is before I was at all relevant. I was still trying to make a computer science degree work. And... uh 
we were at a hackathon in like a 12 hour long hackathon where mm -hmm. you got to just make something with a team of people and uh, i walked into the bathroom and there was someone in the middle stall which fuck you yeah there's i walk into the stall on the left nearest the wall yeah and i i just i pull my pants down and i stand <laughs> shit on the floor <laughs> I didn't shit on the floor. I, I tried to just pee into the toilet and I just couldn't do it. You just couldn't do it. No. Yeah. I'm a slow. I so I have like a like a I'm like a, a hairline pierces. Like if a guy's right next to me, it I will have to usually sometimes even wait for him to leave for the pee to come out. Yeah. And I'm trying too. I'm like, come right. on, you what don't if some, be a what if somebody was like just decided you guys were friends and just like waited for you? Like as they were leaving. <laughs> oh fuck. Like they went I, to the exit of the bathroom, they turned and they just kinda of looked at you and they're like I'll you give you okay? a concrete example. I went to a Mizkiff's. And Mizkiff, you you might know this, has this Hover thing shit. where he likes peeing from his, his balcony. What? You don't know this? <laughs> no. <laughs> he has a balcony and he likes peeing onto the grass below. He has luscious green grass. This grass is fried from the piss in this Why one we... spot. You can see exactly where the pee lands. And he d he's like, yeah, I do this all the time with Simply. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, okay. And so I'm up there with him, and he's like, yeah, it's fun to piss from here. You want to piss from here? And I'm like, sure. And you couldn't. And so we both go, and, and it's like the moment his, before his dick even comes out, there's already pee. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> they turned on the fire hose, and he hasn't unraveled it yet. And he's like unwieldy with it, and I'm like, oh my God. It's like and he it's can't like, even control it himself. Yeah, and it's like he's blasting. He's so excited. It's, I'm like, what is this man's <laughs> penis? And I take mine out, you know, doing my thing delicately, fine, refined, you know, holding it with both mm -hmm. hands firmly. And and I'm waiting. Textbook. I'm waiting, and I'm like, there's this pressure to pee in this yeah, moment, because he was right. saying, like, this is this great thing, you need to pee here. This is the one time. <laughs> Come on, Ludwig, it, pee. And the problem is, I'm, I'm, looking, at, I'm looking down at, I'm do, looking down at little man, I'm looking down at Rob, and I'm saying to him, that's my penis's name, I'm saying to Rob, I'm saying, come on, brother, like, this is going to be, this is going to be cringe. It would if be. we don't go pee pee, yeah, come on, you little you piss really Andy. Think about <laughs> any situation in which you're actually going to be socially required to. Pee. I know, and so and then you get in your own head because you're like, now you're not peeing. Now he's thinking about how you're not peeing. I finally, <laughs> I finally get it out. I finally get it oh, out. Oh, you did. Yeah. I do get all it out. Red. Uh, <laughs> it was all red, <laughs> and then then it went bad from there. It was a weird conversation. <laughs> it started going in a rainbow. Um, have you ever tried to fake it? Fake pee. Mm-hmm. How do you fake pee? Yeah, I if think you're next so. to someone and you're uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable enough. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> I could I could I think I've I might have done that in the past. Mm -hmm. For sure. Like make a Not noise a long with your time. mouth. Yeah, like like, yeah you spit in the no, urinal. That's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> Charlie just went like this, he went, just pretending to go. Well that was the yeah, that was it hitting the water. Yeah, you would like you would like look over at the guy, you'd like see his mouth, you'd be like, What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> and then you say I, 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 my, I pee really loud. I'm I will say I'm a tough guy to pee next to because I run this great bit. You know how there's like dividers between urinals? Yeah. I'll do this. I'll do. Th oh, yeah. No, you won't. I'll do sneak us out. Uh, uh, listeners, I, 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 I look over because you think can't he's see the truth at this point. The divider, literally, you cannot see anything below, like the shoulder. If you look over at a guy in the urinal, what do you imagine? It's their whole body. So if you do this, nothing changes. If you just lower your eyes, but it makes it look like you're looking at their penis. Why would you do that? Well, well it's just a friend's, you know. Oh, oh, I thought you were doing this. Okay. To oh my God! Yeah, no, you said it like this is a great bit. Well, you made, to strangers. You gave us no, <laughs> no indication that this was to anyone but at a public restroom no. to strangers at like a football game. No, I was like, I was at like a smash event yesterday, right? And I was and I was sitting down at the urinal next to or standing. Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a different story. <laughs> if we have time, taking, another taking great a bit. Quick, taking a quick shit at the urinal. Uh, I was standing at the urinal. There was even a gap between us, so I did. I went on my tippy toes and I did it. Ooh. You can't see anything from there, obviously, but it's just, you know. You ever pull your pants scam. down entirely at the urinal? Yeah. Those kids used to be the weird ones. Yeah. But and now they're, they're us. If you do that, <laughs> I think as an adult, I think you're the alpha in the situation. There is a picture of me doing that <laughs> on Twitter hmm. of peeing with my pants down the, uh, the, all the way. Real? Say it again. Is it real? Yeah, it's real. Oh. It's me. Pretty I did good. it. He did. Pissed it. with your pants down. He did it. I pissed with my pants Conquer down, and it was through. It was in the. It was in the yard. It was actually for the. They posted on the yard Twitter. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. I saw that recently. So I, I've, I've, I partook. It's nice. Yeah. Especially if you're it's outside. You're you pretty, feel the wind. You're pretty lucky that your your nuts weren't having like a, like a day where they're hanging extra low. Well, no. Here's the thing, Ted. I have thunder thighs, just absolute tree trunks. A couple of cannons attached to my body Wait, right can now. Can I feel it? There's no way wow. to see anything through. Those it's, are strong. This is Wall of Maria, if you know what I mean. Yeah. 
which did get preached. So I guess that's not a great example. Uh oh. Are you? What are you showing me? That you're. I think that I'm tanner than you. I think you are. I have not. If you aren't, that's a problem. I would. Well, say. Well, it's just weird because I don't think I've ever met someone that I'm tanner than. I'm normally able to get tan. I just haven't left the house much. Mm. Oh. Um, so I just haven't gotten tan. Yeah. What does oh, the typical day look a... like for? Oh, sorry. Shit. I, I'm I keep, just so It's always sorry. at the same. No. Yeah, no. no. Well, no. Well, let's do this like men. Let's RPS best of one, and then you get well, to move forward. That's just no. 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 RPS. 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 I'm literally just gonna hand it to Charlie though, because I do this to him all the time. Come on. All right. No, well, it's just, you're scared. Just one, just okay. one. Do the RPS. Yes. All right. All right. Ladies gonna, and gentlemen, do Chuckle Sandwich's first I'm RPS. I'm also going to do scissors. This is rock, a weird paper, way to play. Scissors, shoe. They have. Oh! Go ahead. Dad, you lied and did rock? Yeah, and you're going to have to listen to him. Now. Oh, my the liar. gosh. The liar. Go ahead. Lie so, about your question. I just thought that this would be a fun thing to bring up since um, Ludwig is on the podcast. But uh, recently. Your lying um, addiction? Recent, <laughs> you have a recently, very manipulative uh, personality. You, you and I, you've <laughs> talked about this on your stream, but recently you and I uh, had a, a game of, of beer pong that happened. Charlie, I'm so mad. Um, For me? I'm so won. upset. Yeah. I'm so upset because not only did he lie and deceive to win, he is now bringing up how his girlfriend, Shay, taught me in beer pong. Yes. He Are brought this up to flex. Are you sad? I'm bringing this up to flex right <laughs> now. Do you want right to cry? Now. Do you want to cry? <laughs> no, don't. don't you're, that's clear. Stop! Oh, my God! What the fuck? <laughs> um, are you doing it? You'd feel it if that's you... like glycerin. Why are you putting glycerin? What do you mean it's glycerin? It's boy tears. It's, it's literal. Boy tears. It's like this no. is not water. It's not no, water. It's, not. It's, God, it's, it's, on a, it's and dropping I, and everywhere. I, and I don't want it to get on a sweatshirt because oh, I think so that'll much. stain his sweatshirt. Will it stain? Is it a stainer? It seems like something might stain. It's gl what the fuck is glycerin? Glycerin is actually what's in vape uh, juice. Hey. Oh, you put glycerin in this? The boys put it in there. I don't know. What yeah, to glycerin you. is a. Uh, it's a. I actually don't know what the hell it is, but they put it Vegetable in vape glycerin. juice. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, Why well, isn't it just water? Because it water evaporates. Because our boys cried different. You can't smell glycerin. You didn't hear everything that Borf was saying. Do you not listen to Borf? No. Ever? They well, put it on the, the the Brady Bunch story. He said the, the kids in the Brady Bunch. Let's tell the story. Well, Borf, could you tell the story? Could you regale us? Let's let Borf tell the listeners because this is actually interesting. why was there a spray bottle so, of, bo of boy tears for context there's a spray bottle of something labeled as boy tears it kind of looks hmm. like from space jam yeah, like that kid. bottle i brought so, it on beforehand i thought it yeah could be good. it's basically uh, when you got kids that don't know how to cry on camera oh, and you can't bad actors spray oh. their face. yeah bad actors yeah oh it's and sticky. the brady punch it's kids like specifically brady bunch kids couldn't cry so they would put a little bit of that on their face and it would be glycerin, glycerin, and it would be like that, like they'd be, you know, crying about. You know, this is. I don't have that problem. It's not as a kid. poison, try. You're gonna be okay. Because you can't put water. Water's too viscous. It'll fall down, or it'll just evaporate. Because viscous... shoots are a long time. Is viscous the th getting thicker or getting thinner? Thicker, right? Thicker, thicker. It's, I think it's viscous. viscosity. If something viscosity. is viscous, it's thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. If something's not viscous, low it's viscosity is thin. thin. I'm the English true. major. I'm gonna say you guys are wrong. No, you're not. I mean, he's, yeah. he's the English major, man. Eighty thousand dollar degree. I, 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 I use my card. I'm, I'm perforating. This I'm is perforating my English right major now. card. I get God this one. <laughs> you guys won't know until you Google it later, and I'll be gone by then. Oh yeah. Anyway, bring it up. So basically, so basically, a bunch of. YouTuber influencer folk were at uh, Mr. Alpha Rad's beautiful, beautiful home. Beautiful home. Yes. Oh it's my very, god. Very nice place. Oh, geez. Um, you you sad? And <laughs> essentially, there was a bunch of red no cups available. Bag? Yeah. And L Mr. Ludwig over here started setting up a game of of beer pong on on this long table with a um, bunch of theater kid nerds who okay. I didn't realize had never touched the game before. So <laughs> he his partner that he had chose was the beautiful, wonderful Daniel Thrasher. Um, and he had never played a game of beer pong before. And yeah. Ludwig, who went to ASU, which is a very, very big party school for those of you out there that don't know, mm -hmm. uh, he was literally teaching them all the ropes. And Shay and I, we decided to be uh, their opponents. What I didn't tell Ludwig, though, was that Shay went to? I'm gonna forget how it how it goes again. It's UCSB. Probably, UC, yeah, UCSB. Yeah. Um, I forget the order of those. University clubs. of California, Santa Barbara. Yeah, yeah. University of California. It's like it's one a, of the biggest party it's a schools very big in, party in school. the United yeah. States, and that she was also in a sorority, so she has a lot of experience so with that. Here's how it works: uh, Arizona State University has the highest population of any school in the world. It has eighty thousand people, which makes it a big party school. The California State schools are also party schools; they're just harder to get into. So if you go to UCSB instead of ASU or like, you know, UCLA mm -hmm. or, you know, any of those, 
you are kind of having the same vibes. You are just cooler because you got into something that's harder to get into. Right. Uh, but continue. So she was a partier and she's smart. Yeah. Oh. Well, also a California resident, so it's a little easier. Yeah. Um, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, you sort of have a better understanding of, like, all the rules of, like. Oh, you just throw the ball into the cup. Okay, here's the fucking problem. You Schlatt. just throw the <laughs> ball in the cup. I, oh, you just I unlocked something. I boot up into a game, all right? And I'm I'm good at beer pong. I went to ASU, okay? Spent Schlatt was there, by the way, and he was on his phone the whole time. So I did I a mean. great. I was, I was not interested. I did a great <laughs> beer job. Pong. I was nailing cups left and right. This is Daniel Thrasher's first time. He was doing great, too. We were going up against a Bloodborne boss. We were going up against General Grievous. She was, she was throwing insane. balls faster than I could even comprehend. And let's let's not let's not mix words. Ted was terrible. He was so bad. I got a, I got several cups, he but I was really one struggling. Cup total. Mm. So the whole, there's ten. That's I ten was, percent of the work. And and she got thirteen because there were so many redemptions. So he didn't even do a tenth of the work. He did less than that. He was I'm sorry, pitiful. And that's just to say how impressive she was. Now, if you know anything about beer pong, if it goes last cup, you can, and someone hits it, you, have to, you get one you chance get redemption. of redemption, mm -hmm. right? And it's just one cup left. Dude, she hit the last cup four times in a row. Dude, I'm not even mad about him saying that I was terrible because I'm so proud of how well she was doing in this situation. Like, she was, it, it was like. It, it was disgusting. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, too, because Ludwig was explaining all of these rules to Daniel Thrasher, and Shay was hitting cups in a certain manner that like every rule came up. Possible. You have to explain to this theater kid like, yeah, she's heating up now. Oh yeah, no, so now she's on fire. Okay, yeah, so now it's balls back. And I have to like go through these rules. He's like, what do you mean she's on fire? And we, I'd did, be like, we did get balls back at one point, so that did require yeah. me to hit one. I know, so I had to explain all this to Daniel Thrasher while he's there. Very hard I'm to like, hear okay, there's the island. Music. She's going to hit an ISO here. She's going for a three cup. Oh, so, okay, so this is electric fence. Okay, she's going for a bounce cup here. Because she's just going off and off and oh, off and, and I off. I did get a bounce cup too. This it was. Those it, are my two shots. It, it, it genuinely <laughs> felt like I was in uh, sp Space Jam, uh, going up <laughs> against Michael Jordan. I was the monster. And you were the monster. You were like Bill bit. Murray. <laughs> yeah, I was Bill Murray in yeah. in Zombie Land. Yeah, where I just was like dead most of the series. Yeah, that's that's pretty much your role. Um, but what you didn't mention though is uh -huh. Daniel Thrasher's big shot. Yeah, he was impressive. He had a great first. I thought we were going to win it because he did hit a redemption. I thought we were going to seal the deal, but it wasn't I in the cards. I thought you guys were going to win it, too. I will say Alpharad has teased a, a beer pong tournament. Mm. And I, so I would, and I would You're like... not allowed to come. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, sorry. You are. Shay isn't. A lot uh, you're not going to let me bring my car? No. no. Really? No. Even, even a watch. She can come watch. She can. Uh, she's on my team. She can hit a celeb shot for me. I that would That would be kind of funny if I if I... If I brought Shay and I let her be on your team, that would be hilarious. Yeah, that would be great. I, look, I'm just saying you can't bring Usain Bolt to the fifth graders track me. <laughs> okay? It doesn't make sense. She did say that that was probably the best beer pong game she's ever played. So I don't think, it's not like, you know. No. She's hit me with the, I didn't even study for this test, and she gets an A, and it happens every time. She got like yeah. a 4.2. I'm not even trying to fuck with Shay right now. <laughs> All right. We're on bad terms right now, Shay, if you're listening to this. Oh. That's so funny. That makes me happy. It makes me happy to see. I don't fucking remember, man. I lost it almost instantly. Second, Your question? The second he pulled out rock, I got it you. Was crushed. It was, it was uh, well, crushed day in instantly. life. <clears throat> yeah, it was. That was it. Day in life. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, you no. sound like. This is how it ends. This is how it ends. <laughs> We're never going to know. We're never going to know. You sound like the air bubbles coming out of like the sludge in a swamp. It, dude, it feels like a pendulum of phlegm that I cough up and then I, I I swallow down and it's like just going what back and forth. terrible combination of fucking words you just said. A pendulum <laughs> of phlegm. A pendulum <laughs> Swinging of back and forth inside me. Wow, that's the English major right there. This sucks. My hands are Glycerin, like... So use the condensation of this as water to uh, to to get some of it off. Huh. Biology we have the, uh, napkins. Too. We can... a, little, a little like chemistry. Just wipe, wipe it on this. On the back side of this. Oh. All right. Oh, so... I'll give you a, a quick rundown day in the life. Hit me yeah. with it. I wake up, air do say 11, maybe noon. Air pants, do. Pants cummed. Pants cummed. <laughs> I wash those. 50% shot minutes. that you wake up cummy. Yeah. Well, not wrong. Uh, I do business stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Right now I'm working on on uh, on making my own bidet. I've been working on that. So How mad not... does that make you, Schlatt? Not mad. Really? Because okay. Ludwig brought me a nice bidet. I brought him a great bidet. 
Have you not heard about a this? A custom bidet? I brought him like a $600 bidet. Wow. I brought him, so I'm, I'm making two bidets. I'm making like a fancy one and a, a, like a, like a everyday man one. Oh. And I brought him the fanciest one I got. And we set it up, and it it's better than mine. Oh, it's wow. nice. Wow. It's a you nice see, bidet. I've heard, oh, so I've you heard use big it? things about your bidet, yeah. too. I, I thought you were anti-bidet. I'm bidet. I, I was supposed to make a video on Ludwig. Are you Dreaming. not gonna? I'm going to. So we, should we not release too much? Should we not reveal? No, no, we can talk about it. Okay. We can talk about it. Let's talk this about is, it. This is, I mean, this is like the eighth podcast. This is so many weeks down the line. I mean, yeah. surely this I would have made this the could, video by this then. This could literally be maybe like two months in the future that this yeah. releases. Yeah. All right. So his, this is out. His butt, you already know his butthole is clean. Very clean. You can <laughs> change the temperature of the water. You can mm -hmm. change the temperature, the temperature of the seat. Yeah. The wow. spray width, whether or not you want a short cold beam in, right in there or yeah. just or a warm, mist <laughs> or a warm mist you actually can you, you can, can miss you, you can you can increase the uh the wideness of yeah. the spray i wouldn't really want to miss like my ass it's like a choke to a shotgun yeah or like a duck bill or or, or, or uh, like a cut barrel like so, a like, yeah. but what do you yeah. do so now you got a like a big wet ass what do you do you after? hit the oh you simply hit the dry button on the bidet. Oh, did you not know about the dry button? I didn't. I just thought you were walking around with a big wet ass. You didn't know about the dry button? So you thought we didn't dry dry button? You thought we had wet ass? You thought we had wet ass. You thought we had wet ass. You thought we had $500 for wet ass. What would have supported that? I mean, maybe you just- $500 make my ass wet. Maybe you just toilet paper and your ass wet. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? You hit the dry button. My God. And then a nice little hand starts to dry. Wipe a little bit. You keep it your sandpaper. You keep like a towel. Dry ass. Yeah, keep going with fucking Charmin. One ply. Prick. Yeah, it's uh, you it's the, an experience. You hit the dry button. Yeah, you get dry, okay. uh -huh. and then you hit the deodorize button. Mm. Deodorize? What? Oh yeah. yeah. Fuck. Are you trying? Are you little mists? Are you mists, trying to mists? Mists? Well, hold on. Now, riddle me this. A little sprite flat. comes out of the bidet. You're a really, really big fan of one of the sponsors' products on this podcast, Manscapes. Uh, ball, ball toner. deodorant. Ball toner. Ball, ball toner. I thought it was the ball deodorant. No, the ball deodorant's the lotion. Oh, ball. Toner, mm -hmm. do you think that you could somehow get that deodorized mist replaced with the ball toner? I wish I could. Probably. It's just a side pack. Now, riddle me this. If you're creating a bidet, do you think that you can have maybe ball different toner. types of scents that you could spray Ooh. onto the ass? So the deodorizer is less of a scent. I think it's more of like a removal with like a light. It's not like you don't want it. It's not like a candle. Bleach. Do you know, I don't know if you guys know this. They, they have invented, oh, oh, oh no, the Delta's coming. Oh, get back, get back, get back. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. You're so disgusting. in the early 60s or 50s, They're the worst. they actually invented a way to remove odor. That exists. It's known as Febreze today. And it literally removes, like, like technologically, it latches onto odor and neutralizes it. I know the commercials seem fake, but it's a real technology. Yeah, I don't know if they told you we were sponsored. We're not. Uh, sponsored. By Febreze? By Febreze. Oh, So fuck. it's okay. You can drop it. You can well, drop well, it. What I'm trying to say is that the technology exists to actually deodorize instead of just making a, a bigger scent to mask over it. Hmm. So you can't just remove poop smell instead of being like, here's a shit ton of lavender so you don't smell poop anymore. So you just make it go away. Yeah. You can just make it go away. The tech exists. So that's so what your bidet does. It makes there. your ass go away. So yeah. let's say, so let's say, oh, you flush, if right? I take a, yeah, if flush, I successfully manage to poop on the floor like you've challenged me Ooh, to do, uh -huh. and I just spray a bunch of Febreze on it, that poop will not smell does like poop. Go, does the poop go away? No, well, I, be think like it does, I think it, it keeps smell emanating poop. smell. Like I think the way it works is it turns from physical matter to smell over time. Yeah. And is it? Is smell? You have to remove the poop. Smell is like is the a particle, right? State or something? I'm sorry. I I guess I'm not being clear. If you poop on the floor, you should remove it. <laughs> yeah. Does that? Let's make that I, but clear. I feel like I'm this whole time, that... this whole podcast, you've been implying that we should just be leaving poops everywhere. Well, I said to shit next you, to your you've toilet. You challenged us to shit on the leave floor. The shit there. You've one. You everybody challenged who's us doing to shit the on shit the challenge right now, because I hope you guys went right to it. Make sure you remove the shit from the <laughs> go, floor. Go go so, back in so, where you previously <laughs> shit yeah, on I feel the like floor. There's a little earlier bit of, in the episode of manipulation going on here. Because uh -huh. one, you've challenged Always all, all the people on. at home to shit on the floor, and then two, you said that odors can be removed and they don't need to exist anymore. Ted telling us about manipulation. I know. Hey, you want to play rock paper scissors? How sick is that? Yeah, I'm gonna go scissors. I'm gonna go scissors. Listen to this guy. Yeah, Jesus. You lost. I won. <laughs> Take but, the L, Champarino. Yeah, it's called, he's gaslighting me right now. The finale is yeah that we we got. Well, this started with day in the life. Screw that. Yeah. I, that that's the that's the end goal for me. I want to become the number one bidet salesman in, in America. Come pants, wet ass. I want to be the bidet guy when I retire. That'd is that true? Great. You could be like 
You could you could be like the my pillow guy. You could legally yeah. change. Yeah, I want to be back. like the my pillow guy. I'm gonna go so radical. I haven't picked and just show up at like a Trump. <laughs> yeah, speech, just to push know? with my toilet seat that's spraying <laughs> out. <laughs> Instead of like throwing yourself. the shoe, I just lift up the seat and water sprays at Joe Biden. I'm like, come on, Joe. <laughs> you could legally change your name to Bobby Bidet. Bobby Bidet, True. like Bobby Boucher. No, Bobby Bidet. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's stupid. unlike I'm any sorry. other. So Un- unlike any other. I should have done that. <laughs> yeah. So dumb. I'm so, it was dumb. stupid. I, I, I accept it's your a work apology. In progress is what it is. Yeah. Um, Ludwig, would you rather have unlimited bacon, <laughs> uh-huh. uh, or, but no more video games? <laughs> right. Or would you rather have video games? Right. You know, unlimited video games, but no games. What? Take it from the top again, Schlapp. Would I rather have unlimited, unlimited bacon? bacon? Well, hold on. Shut your fucking mouth. Give it one more go. Ludwig, would you rather have unlimited bacon? And mm-hmm. listen. Listen to what he's saying here. Unlimited bacon, but no more games. Or games. Unlimited, unlimited games. games. But, but no, no games. more games. Are you no getting this, Ludwig? Are you getting this through your thick fucking skull Does he right need now? to break it down Barney style for you? Because he can absolutely do that. Do I need to? This, it looks I like you're to, in a little bit of a fog. Are these words reaching whatever's in there? Evil huh? on your ass. Do I need to hit the deodorizer? How do you have button? unlimited games if there's no game? Do you need some very you need closely. Some you want to cry about I'm it? Say maybe? it one more time before I start spraying glycerin okay, on okay, your face. Okay, one more, one more, one more. One Would more. you rather have unlimited bacon? Uh huh. But no more games. Are you hearing him, Ludwig? Yeah, no more games. Or games. Games. Unlimited, unlimited games. games. Unlimited games, but, but no, no games. more games. I, I would go with this, the latter. You are the worst fucking guest we've ever had. <laughs> you'd go with the latter? Son of a bitch. So you'd take the unlimited games, but no games? Shit. You make me sick. But there's no games. But, uh, bacon? Is this, is this the Delta strain talking? What's wrong uh, with it's you? COVID. I can't think straight anymore. I swears. It's the zombie bite is all. I, yeah, he's I would. It. He's I would. Right. Can't even taste the unlimited the bacon. Off. Take the clothes off. I'll, we're gonna have. We're gonna start off. playing. Go with you ba- want to start playing? I'll go with bacon. Put the gloves on first. <laughs> it's time to get in the Borf? playpen. <laughs> Borf, you got the gloves, man? <laughs> <laughs> he's your glove holder. He's looking. Yeah, he's got my gloves. He's looking. Uh, do you do that to all your guests? Yes, yeah, every yeah, single absolutely. one. Yeah, I am never one. coming back here. No, you don't have That's to. That's fine, don't. We won't be here if you come back next week. No. We're going to be This will be an empty Ted will still be in LA, studio. Uh, but uh, we will both be gone. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. right. Somewhere, somewhere better. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere where uh, things are somewhere okay. Somewhere on the right side of the... Political spectrum. The United States. Yeah. Texas. Do people know where you're from? Uh, yeah, I've, I'm from Vermont. He's the biggest YouTuber Wait, in I Vermont. thought it was... Did you lie to me? What did she, What did someone say? He said New Hampshire. I said I thought New Hampshire, but I wasn't sure. I, lived I wasn't in, sure. I lived in you New were Hampshire going, for a little bit. You were going back and forth Because I'm from New, New Hampshire. Hampshire for, you are? My yeah. family's in New Hampshire. Yeah. yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, I told you, I said, I think Charlie might be from New Hampshire, but he's going back and forth between Vermont very frequently. Sure. I only agreed to this because I thought you were in New Hampshire, right? Oh. Cuts me deep. Oh. I was, I was, I went to, I went to in college in Vermont. How about that? I went to college. In, in Vermont? Vermont? Yep. Okay. My sister went to college in New Hampshire. She went to UNH. Nice. You're such a rat. Just trying to find your way in the little I'm holes, trying to man. make him feel better about <laughs> so, being on the podcast right now. feel a bit right better now. about that. I got hey. denied from that college, so well, now I feel worse. New but. Hampshire is right next to New York, so I mean, we're good. Yeah, that's true. I did New used York. to do the drive almost bi-weekly. To New York? Oh. I had a girlfriend in Jersey, so I had to drive through New York. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wow. So I had to go there. Like a five-hour drive. Why'd you have one in New Jersey? Jersey? Five-hour drive? Yeah, you, you from New found, Hampshire to Jersey. You found one in New Jersey? Well, was, we went to college together. It was like summer break, you know? And you she went drive. Back. She went back to New Jersey? Yeah, she went back to Jersey. I went back to Hampshire. You never go Ooh. back to New Jersey. Yeah. Christ. Jersey's a weird place. Yeah. they. Yeah. You know, yeah. they, they don't pump their own gas. No, they don't. They don't. You, you have, have to, to pay And they don't in do Oregon it. either. Yeah. But they made an exception recently in Oregon. And people don't know how to pump their gas. No. They don't know. They if they if if they if the attendants left, they would panic. They would they would lose their minds. And it's they funny would. too because they don't make the gas stations any different than they normally do. No. Like no. they they take your card and they just do the self service <laughs> yeah, thing for yeah. you, <laughs> and then they pump your gas. And it's like you could roll up and do it, but they stop you. How have they not figured out automatic gas pumping yet? Like you like drive up just, like a car wash. In. Yeah. I don't know. I feel I feel like that. 
people already drive away with the gas thing still in. I feel True. like if yeah, it was automated true. like that, then it's getting a lot of broken machines because yeah. a lot of stupid people. There are some stupid people. Do you guys think you are smarter than the average human? Yeah. Yes? Uh, no. Yeah. No, I think I am. I think I am. No, I got that. I was clear about that one. What did, uh, <laughs> what did you get on the ACT? I, I took the SAT and wow. I got I got twelve. I think, Ooh, I, I, think I got a twenty nine on the ACT. Twenty nine on the yeah. ACT. Oh wow, in the twenties. Mm-hmm. I got twelve ninety out of. I was 16. on the cusp. I was on the cusp. I got a very average score. I took the SAT and I mm. bombed ACT. It was like a I had the the first time I took it I bombed the science one. The others I had like twenty nine thirty and then. What did you get? I got thirty three on the ACT. It's pretty good. You know th- who uh, three asked me this away question? From all of them, right? You know who asked me this? The mm. the motherfuckers had offline TV. Oh, of course. Really? They I went to do yeah. a shoot with them, and Scara casually brought it up. <laughs> and I, Cas- who casually brings? You up only do what that if it's a setup. I, yeah. yeah. I had done yeah. pretty Cast. well. I got like a six sixty on math and a six thirty yeah, on. Come on into reading. my trap. And I was like, oh, yeah, I did pretty well here. And I and I and and I'm like, yeah. So I got like a twelve ninety out of sixty. Like like average. You know, maybe, yeah. maybe even a little bit above. Sure. Yeah. And, and then is above. I'd say it's it's not too bad. And uh, and Scar, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like a fifteen sixty. Oh God! And then I was like, "This is the highest you can get, like a sixteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and so then I'm like, I'm like, wait. And so then I start asking around. I'm like, I'm like, Lily, would you get? She's like, um, I think like twenty three forty because she did it out of the twenty four hundred. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh toast. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 someone, toast. Someone. What's going on here? It's like it's like the the, the, the one scene where it's like really close fisheye lens on the face yeah. going around. Like I, I'm, it's like a drug <laughs> scene. Yeah, they slowly turn drug drug around scene. in their chair. They had drugged me. Yeah. They had actually uh, screwed they're me and they're they're manipulated. Their they, they ted me into that question. Well, they're gaslight and gatekeeping it. Yeah. Yeah. So I I, I felt like a Big idiot. Well, you yeah, can never not feel now. like a girl. The boss. only thing that made me feel better is that I asked Pokey. <laughs> oh, what you got? <laughs> she's Canadian. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh okay. So she didn't. Do <laughs> you thought it's just because she's dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> your like, setup. I thought score. that was your setup. The was like I asked Pokey. She's like, I had shit. <laughs> I like, like, yeah, okay, yeah. Pokey's dumb. <laughs> 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 oh, she's Canadian. Thank God. I never even. I didn't even take the SAT because I didn't. I. I don't know. People like there was all that shit on it where it was like some questions. You don't, or you don't need to an answer. But if you do answer them and you get them wrong, yeah, you lose we'll points. fucking shoot you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you mm. lose, you lose a point yeah. if you get something wrong. But you just, you just don't get any points. There's like a whole thing of like, answer. are you feeling yeah. confident? Are yeah. you sure? It's like that that's like weird. a fucking I don't know. Game. I don't want to play. Yeah. yeah. Why is this? Why is this test doing this to me? And all the questions are there to trick you too. Like they're they're specifically worded so that you yes. like don't even. Get to the point, and the ACT just asks you straight up. The whole college That's why the, admissions yeah. process is just a fucked rat race yeah. that we know now also rich people like to cheat at. Mm. So Machinima employees. <laughs> Machinima right. employees Wait, what? specifically. Yeah. Explain. Riddle me this tale. All right. So Borf's coming back in. Borf on the oh, mic. Borf, are, are, is this like the uh, who, Full House yes, woman? Yes, this is the Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin. Here, we're going to do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Lori Laughlin. Basically, uh, Stephen Siamprivo uh, was one of the big wigs over at Machinima behind a lot of the uh, layoffs. And he also did so much in the college admission scandal. Wow. That when the Netflix documentary came out, they had an actor reenact him. Wow! Did That's he get Did he get in trouble? Did he? Oh, he went to jail. Really? Hey, <laughs> he went to jail. Hey! Oh my God! Get wow. Holy fuck! Get, get bored. That's what get we said. I like that. Fashion. That's okay. a classic. Oh, That's shit. a classic Borf treatment that wow. we give him. Wow. If you cross him, he'll take you down. Yeah. He will. God. Wow! I fuck can't imagine Borf. loving a thing fuck. enough to cheat it into a better program like. If that thing is dumb that I make, like the kid I yeah. make, it's like fuck yeah, fuck you. That you thing, fucked up. <laughs> that, that, thing that is beast dumb. that comes yeah, out like, of me. And all the shit where they had like they had Demonic. like the kids like model for like fake, fake uh, sports photos and stuff like that. Yeah, that's oh crazy. I don't think they should be able to do anything. Did you really get into ASU? Did I really get in? They have an eighty-six percent acceptance I'm an implication. <laughs> what that aren't you telling us? ASU. <laughs> ASU? <laughs> imagine that. Aren't you so saying? funny? Admission scandal. Lori Loughlin gets her daughter into ASU. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you could have just applied, probably here. It would have been yeah. fine. No, wow. ASU is so free that based off of my academics, my twelve ninety, they gave me a scholarship. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, no. So Lord knows what a 33 what gets your, you in those parks. My high school GPA was like absolutely terrible. You know what's funny? I got above a 3.0, and I felt gas about that. I was like, Oh, I would have yes. felt gas too. I had like a 2.8 when I was in, in high school. Because 2 would have made me feel bad because it's a cutoff. Right. Yeah. I apply to ASU. They get back to me, and they're like, yeah, you had about a 2.9. So you don't qualify for a program that the journalism program, which is three zero, oh. and I'm like, what? I had a three zero, and they're like, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, we don't include honors choir. Uh, oh. It looks like you did that for two years, and you had a a five point zero GPA. So we just removed that, and I was like, yeah. well, come on, you know, it's pretty it's difficult there. out there. Teach, you know, we, <laughs> so we you were need a, a lot of vocal warm ups. So you were a little choir boy. I was a choir boy. Yeah. What'd you do? I sang. I have a solo of somebody to love on YouTube. From really? high school, yeah. Wow. You ever been to a Catholic mass? I have I have only gone to church on like Easter, Easter and, and when I slept over at a friend's house. Not even Seasonal. Christmas. Seasonal. If I slept over at a friend's house and then I woke up and they're like, We have a cool church though, you should you gotta come. Mm. Oh yeah, then you go. Then you go. And it's just off rhythm clapping. It's just <laughs> some guy like on fucking wires. Yeah. Just, like, Doing up. <laughs> like just trying to keep your attention. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. I was never a choir boy. Were you? Was no. anyone here? No, no. I did I did band for a while. I was in percussion for quite I a few did, years. I did choir in um I'll, in high school. I'll do you this, gentlemen. I'll play you the first note of somebody to love that I sang. Oh, it's good. You can be able to pick this up. Yeah, I'll just play through the mic. Is this you? That's your sub <laughs> yeah. sound. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. your fucking sub I know. sound. Yeah, that's that's for like a raid oh, or a host. Oh, like, shit. It's bad. Wow, that's on YouTube. Yeah, you that is on, that on YouTube. You that can find that has note? like 200,000 views. That's the first note. Oh, and you say you aren't a choir boy. Come what on. What happened that's when great. that came out? It Well, that when that got found when out, the, no, it was no, no, embarrassing. When the note. When the note oh, so, <laughs> so what happened uh, is inside, that, inside your body. What was I, I got the solo and I was so nervous. I practiced so much. Yeah. That by the time the performance came, my voice was shot. I literally oh, practiced fuck. falsetto so much that I couldn't sing falsetto. And so for the entire performance, my vibrato is fine. But anytime I go falsetto, it's just shot. Like Icarus. You flew too close to the sun. This is not, this is choir. This is like a nice, like a documentary. <laughs> I have a yeah, sim- like Icarus I, is what I was thinking. <laughs> I, have a, I have a similar thing that happened to me with the YouTube thing, though, since I was in uh, acapella in, in college. Um, so a lot of those recordings are are online, so people will find those and, Ooh. and comment yeah. and shit. But I tell you guys that I got the, uh, this was the closest I've ever come to something like this. I mean, I was like in the pit at band and shit. But there's one time in my middle school play when they let me be like Napoleon, right? And and we sang Waterloo, um, and I came out and I thought it would be really funny uh, to improvise as a kid. And so what I did is I got like down really low and I like put the costume like over my knees and I like waddled out and I did like a funny dance, sang the whole part, and I thought it was great. Then I found out afterwards that because I was so short and I was crouched down, no one actually saw me. <laughs> oh, what a great bit, though. So, yeah, I was just out there. I was like having an awesome wow. time. I was like, wow, this is my place, and everyone was loving it. That's tough. Because they didn't, yeah. Because they didn't see you. They didn't see me. That's either. tough. Wow. It's a great that you should try that again, maybe. You're a little ta- little bit taller now. I'm a little bit taller. I got yeah. a couple inches. Yeah. A couple, inches. couple extra inches. Wish I, I wish you were taller. Yeah. Ludwig, I appreciate your height, man. Six flat. Is it six flat? Six two on the ID. Nice. What? Nice. How? I'm bad. I lied. You can can you put what you can oh, put you whatever you want on yeah, your look, ID. You can put whatever you want. I'll show you right now mm-hmm. my California ID. Every time I renew it, I add an inch. How long did you spend before you actually got your California driver's license? I got it within like uh Take a look at that. A few months of moving? Really? Yeah. I still haven't done that yet. No, cuz I got That's a car like and him. California no, yeah, plates. I guess a cal- getting like, a car would be a sandwich. It looks like a, a lot of people that I when I moved here. Yeah. For a, a couple months. Do this. Didn't have your shit They're together when you took that They're all looking through my ID. Picture. It does say six foot two inches. Yeah, you wouldn't get into a bar. All right, I'll make sure to blur out my driver's license number. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think I, I don't think that'll show up on it. Did that get in the camera thing? Borif sees everything. Borif sees everything. Well, I was it all like this, fucking everything, bro. Oh, Borif's got an unlock. Yeah, shout out to Scott for blurring out the driver's hmm? license number. Thing. Did yeah, you ever have out. a fake in college? No. 
No? No, because you didn't need one. At Arizona, there was a, a drive through liquor store that you could just buy oh, from. Oh, Beverage Barn. They just willingly Is sold called? to minors. Beverage Barn? Oh, no. No, it wasn't called. I, would, I wouldn't dare rat <laughs> them out. You just said probably the one you yeah. go to. No, yeah, no, no. Beverage Barns. <laughs> there's, there's drive through liquor stores, and there's it's funny because I brought it up on stream. I've never said the place. People will be like, oh, this place? Because they know because they also bought there. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I went through without a fake. Because I heard that they sell to people who are underage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going through, and I, you know, I'm like barely in college, like 19. And I'm like, hey, can I get like like a fifth of like maybe coconut rum or something? Or like, you know, cake vodka? Uh, Just some gross shit. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ID? And I was like, that's not what I heard about what goes on around here. <laughs> he's like, Just, and he says, Just give me your ID. So I give him my my shitty 18-year-old ID oh. that I still have. I give him this exact New Hampshire ID. Oh, my I, goodness. I look That's like a you... boy in this ID, all right? And it very clearly shows my birthday. I'm like two years underage. You look like a completely different person. He eyes it up and down. First of all, it's vertical, all right? They yep. do that in New Hampshire. So, whoa! Whoa! Yeah, already no, in Arizona crazy. law, you're not allowed to accept vertical IDs, even if they're 21. So, But he looks it up and down. He hands it back to me, and he goes... Yeah, there's a cop across the street. I just have to actually take the ID. Gives me the alcohol. I'm like, hell yeah. I put it in my shotgun seat. And he's like, don't put it there, idiot. You put it in the back seat. And I was like, yeah, so true. So right. So right. <laughs> put it in the back seat. He's like, cover it. I'm like, yeah, right. So right. Cover it. Yeah, of course. And then I drive home. And I and that was that's where I got my alcohol all college. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was lit. Holy crap. At, 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 in Ithaca, it was like there was this one this place called Northside Liquor, and if you go there and you, you give them an ID, they if it's an out-of-state ID, they literally go onto the speaker and they say, out-of-state ID, and then you got a guy who comes in. Yeah. You have to, like, fill out, like, a little composition notebook, oh. like, saying what your name, you got to sign for it and Goodness. stuff, and it's there. It's a pain. It's fucking. You went to Ithaca? I did. My gosh. No wonder you took a 400 milligram edible. <laughs> <Makes so much laughs> they just all stoners there. Is that what yeah. you heard? It's because in the middle of nowhere in New it York. Is. There, literally, it is. You're honestly, yeah. you're totally. I visited right. Ithaca because my school. sister's thinking about going yeah. there because they have a, I think a decent acting program. What year? Oh, way before she's she oh. graduated 2013, I think. Or 14. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that wasn't uh, from college. So I I, uh, I went to visit it, and it was such a long drive, and it's, you just felt society leaving you. You're right. It, it mm -hmm. is. It's literally like you drive. For maybe the last like hour, you drive through absolute bumfuck. If you've nowhere. never been to Ithaca, but you've watched the opening scene of Spirited Away, it's like that. They just keep <laughs> driving until nothing is there yeah. anymore. You walk through a portal instead of being like you know, a it's bunch all of a sudden of dragons. Yeah. It's just a bunch of people smoking weed. Yeah, <laughs> there's like weed shops lining the streets. It's literally just like one small, incredibly liberal sanctuary. Like it's yeah. a sanctuary city. It's like yeah. a, a pocket of liberal. And then all around it is just like conservative. Like like you'll be leaving Ithaca and it'll be like Trump size, but in there it's just like Bernie Biden that kind yeah. of yeah. Yeah, man, UVM is just like a fog cloud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd imagine. Me? Yeah, you walk through, your just eyes start stinging. Just Birkenstocks everywhere. Oh, they love them. They love Birkenstocks up there. Lots yeah. of flannels. You hustle flannel. Birkenstocks there, you make a a mint. Oh, easily. Yeah, easily. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What time are we at right now? Ninety five minutes. minutes. Well, what do you normally do? We're done. We're done. <laughs> Are you a 90 pod, a 60 pod? 60. We, you're we're 60 whatever, pod. We're, whatever we're 60 pod, we pod but we've be, been man. doing stuff. We've been just going over way. What's the long. goal? Because So I'm a, I'm, a new, I'm a new pod owner. Oh, shit. We don't know what we're doing. And uh, we, we have, just do it. We just do it. Like Generally, people just watch. I was a little nervous about 90 because I was like, if I see a 90 pod, personally, I'm like, I'm 1.5 in that. I'm well, 1.5x in that. Really? I, I'm not going to 1x listen to listen, a 90 minute do, pod. Do you listen to podcasts frequently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mostly listen to nerdier shit. I listen to like the daily podcast. So are you like trying to get through and get all the information? Yeah, sure. Times. Like... I'll one X X is twenty thirty. Yeah. And this. This the daily. Do you like the daily? No. Why? <laughs> I listen to the journal. Who's that? It's the Wall Street Journal. Really? Yeah. I listen to Mark. What do they just what do they just do? Just read out stock signs? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. <laughs> Just it. money signs. No, it's like it's like the daily. It's like the, pretty much the same thing. But I I can oh, I can NPR. actually stand the voice of the person. Wow. Here. Oh, Here's Jesus. the thing, oh, Michael Dirty. Here's the thing. We were originally going to end the podcast when Schlatt asked you. I mean, Schlatt was aiming to end the podcast when he no, asked I you. No, I just to ask when I when I feel a lull. You know. 
Oh, you, I, I thought you asked it when if you feel like you're at the yeah, end. Yeah, sometimes. Is that your ending note? Sometimes we'll end on. Wow. On one of the big yeah. Ones, but, so, but we've been going for like a half an hour more after that. Yeah. So, but I mean, like, this has been a very wonderful podcast. I, I feel mean, great. We're. I feel fantastic too. That didn't feel reassuring. <laughs> no, it didn't. It felt very fake. Um, it didn't feel reassuring. It's like another it's actually, manipulation. You sound better than you did at the start. Well, I had just woken up. I sound better as the day moves. We're on. so glad I feel to like feel maybe you. you've grown through this experience. I think I'm. Sorry. No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ! God. Are you bouncing? When anyway, you do that? thank you guys so much for having me on Chuckle Sandwich. It's been an absolute pleasure, Ludwig. Yeah. It's time to roll out the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> this camera, that camera, that camera. We've just started stealing that. It's Tell just, everyone yeah, we what you got going on in your life. Hey guys, uh, honestly, the only thing I got to shout out is my podcast, The Yard, that I started with my roommates. Uh, my goal is for them to be. Just so rich that they yeah. all quit their jobs and work for me. So I, I hope it nice. does well. That's my that's my only goal with the podcast. So even if you don't listen, just download it so mm -hmm. I can scam advertisers it's into climbing giving me the money. Spotify charts. You're almost ahead of us. We're we're trying. All well, right. I mean, that's mm. just. I mean, when you think about it, it, it doesn't have to do with listener count. It just has to do with the the rapid rise because yeah. you're only on two episodes. So I mean, exactly, you really don't have as many listeners as we well. Do. I'm not worried about beating you guys. <laughs> I would want to rise together. <laughs> you're an ass. <laughs> you're just an ass. Look, wow. here's 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 the skinny. My only goal is for them to be rich yeah. and so if i can do that that's being really one under chuckle goal. sandwich that's great for me yeah. are yeah. you guys rich yes then being one under you would make them rich that's true so everybody who's listening let's get them rich everybody who's listening download this podcast and then download the yard except for one person don't download the yard and then you'll be above me right math right. right that's fair yeah. okay. that's and fair. they know that's who fair. they are yeah as yeah. well if you're listening to this and your name's jackson do not Ooh. do what? not watch the yard jackson don't. Get Don't do the, it. Get the fuck out of here, Jackson. <laughs> fuck you, Jackson. Jackson. All right. Well, you guys want them still. Oh, they need Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, right. Come on, Jackson, Jackson. You're Jackson. welcome you're here. Hey, Jackson. you don't need Jackson. the yard. You don't need the yard. Just the yard is the one you We love you to death, Jackson. You should stay here. I'm sorry they were a little... Don't worry about the yard, yeah. Jackson. Doesn't um, matter what happens. Gentlemen, right. it's been a pleasure. Handshakes all around. No. No. Why? No. No? No. Don't. Thanks, guys. What? What's wrong? Okay. Bye. Bye. What's wrong with the handshake? Just a quick... A brief... Let's get him out of here.